are the two best co-hosts a host could have. Jeremy DeWitt is here. How are you doing, Jeremy? Hello, Stephen. Thank you for having me on this glorious Sunday morning. You know, I only have the best. I appreciate you and Pete and Cody and Travis, even though he could not show up. Travis is dead to me today. <laughs> I can, the camera can actually see me. I'm not that upset that he's gone. Wow, the camera can see you me look, real well today. Yeah. What do you do, Cody? Change look at the you angle. Skinny? <laughs> huh? I said, look at you, skinny. Who? Pete. Oh, Pete. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm down a little bit. Thank you for noticing. Looks hot. Thank you. So, I mean, it's medical. It's not just. It's not just me. That's the best you kind. Know what I mean? That's so, the best kind. <laughs> if you, it just goes to show if you if you make poor enough choices, eventually science will help you do shit the easy way. Or if you have bad genes or odd genes, like right now, I'm losing veins in my leg. Well, actually, they're not removing them, but they're destroying them. Oh, there you got some varicose veins going on. Yeah, buddy, I yeah. got a couple of bulgers in the old left calf. Yeah, apparently, I was like, is it because I'm fat? And they're like, not at all. I'm like, oh. all right, well, what hereditary? You know, yeah. and I was like, man, my grandpa. He was a skinny motherfucker, and he had a shit ton of them in, in his leg. DMs. So, so this is like a surgery or something? It's yeah, a procedure. It's a procedure, yeah. right? It's super short, like, uh, but it's got to. The actual like each procedure is pretty short, so I got to do it like eight times. So oh. in the next two months, I got to go every single week. What What is the danger? Like, what What do they? What, is so, it just because they're so close to the surface? They're afraid of them getting nick and bleeding. Like no, I you, don't like there could be. Uh, well, so mine specifically. Um, I guess the diameter of most of like the the bigger veins or whatever are supposed to be like somewhere around three millimeters or something, and mine are between four and eight. Okay, so they're so, in, they're enlarged. They're then. enlarged, oh, okay. and they're saying like blood clots could happen, and it's, it has a hard oh, time okay. for the blood to flow correctly, and because uh, either I, I that or they're just bullshitting right. me and wanting my money. <laughs> I know. I, I mean, I know numerous people. Like my mother-in-law had to have uh, procedures for very, and I know a lot of people have had them done. Yeah. So I get the procedure, but I've never actually asked the question as to why. What makes them potentially dangerous? Yeah, and, and it so, also like it causes. You know, obviously it looks funky, but it causes discoloration a little bit too. Yeah. So that would. I thought they were painful. Like, they're, can they can be ah. for sure? They can be annoying. Right. Uh, um, I think some of my like bloated legness is is from that so right. hopefully this will all help they just mm -hmm. like put a like um so they do an ultrasound of your leg which is funky um it's so gooey <laughs> and <laughs> but gooey like, like a vagina yeah it's gooey uh they, they like you know numb it with a few needle pricks which you don't really feel and then um yeah they put like a catheter thingy up in there and then they just like put some liquid in there that fucks it all up, like it heats it or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't Ca know. I'm just there. Cauterizes yeah, it. And then uh yeah, it like shrinks down and basically blood finds a way. So yeah, fun. They did a bunch of them like with my mother in law, she was laid up for a couple of days, yeah. like feet elevated. Because I think what they I think they just went and did them all at one time mm -hmm. as opposed to you know in segments, but you know. So, well, good. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you're getting rid of those. Yeah, I was. I was embarrassed like... when we were in shorts together to be around you. So I'm glad you're getting that taken care of. Oh, so. oh no. Now <laughs> see what sucks is like they're like, hey, you know, compression socks, right? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. They're like, get comfortable with them, bitches, because basically I'm stuck with them now. <laughs> Jeremy's rocking the Ted hose. Yeah. So well, <laughs> looks like it's jeans from here on out. <laughs> but once I did post something about that, uh, Big Greg texted me and he's like. Fuck yeah, bro! <laughs> like this <laughs> month, like he's got it too. So, but he's he's nine foot tall. So he actually wears so. two on each leg just Maybe. to get full coverage yeah. for that mic. You can't plug it in. Well, we can unplug this one, and we can plug him in what? since Trav's not here. Oh, oh yeah, we could do that. Yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which one to unplug. Are we though. Figuring this out. Yeah, we're doing it. Uh, we're doing some, you we're know, gonna we're gonna Cody on mic today, guys. We're going to get code the codester on the mic. I like to say code man, like from step by step, you know, the weirdo, uh, the, the weirdo <laughs> that was always in the van in yeah. the driveway. Yeah, he was so cool. And then he was like, <clears throat> supposedly He's like to punch. I lack apparently the grip strength to remove that. <laughs> uh oh. All but, right. Oh, I, I didn't. I would. Yeah, no, shut up, Peter. You're a stupid idiot. You're a stupid idiot. Nobody loves you. <laughs> All right, so uh, he said it. We were thinking it. Born boys checked in. 
Corn 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 boy. Boy. Nice to see you, buddy. We saw you we saw pictures of you out and about. Yeah. We liked it. I mean, it was it, it wasn't at Mesquite Con. That's that's no big deal, I guess. <laughs> so no, in all, all seriousness, I I will I will say out in public well sure. it was good to see that, but did you guys see the freaking corn boy love all oh, yeah. over social yeah. media? Yeah. It was just post after post after post just being Hey, glad you're on the mend, and you know, love to see you out and about. Love to see that smile on the face, yeah, looking good, cor- corn boy. Corn just boy, how is it being comment. able to walk around without a belt? This weekend, <laughs> she got a raging one all weekend. Mm-hmm. These people oh. love me. Travis, that was that was super cool. Travis checking in. Thanks, Travis. Thanks for being here. Give Cody a mic. <laughs> did then, you say that before or after we did that? I don't know. Who knows? Then a super chat. Oh boy! Old man. Oh. Oh. You know what? You just oh, keep uh, you just keep giving me, you just keep giving us money, Curtis. <laughs> I'm... Welcome to the "My Wife Is Going to Kill Me" podcast, the show where we talk about the number one reason our wives want to kill us because we nonstop talk about our old man ailments. Well, as long as I'm not telling a story, <laughs> everybody's happy, right? Yeah, yeah. As long as I'm not. Cornboy says Toy Con, New Jersey, seven minutes away from his house. So the scary part about that is one of these absolute mythic legions nerds is now going to extrapolate the exact drive time. They're going to find out where you live and you're going to have some crazy <laughs> motherfucker on your porch, Cornboy. <laughs> so I'll see you in a little bit. Well, a uh, lot's happened since we've sat down. A lot. Uh, we've had a uh, Mesquite Con. Mm-hmm. We've had uh, a Midwest mythical meetup. That was fun. We've had. I heard. I heard. Fucking. Jam. I mean, I don't know how you missed that. Like, I don't. <laughs> so after we got done setting up, I like. Uh, it was us and like, um, Deanna and Gavin, and then Matt and Rachel. And we're all like, we're fucking hungry. Like, let's go grab some food. And that took fucking forever. Right. So I was able to stop in there for a second, be like, we'll be back after the food. But I didn't know it was going to be like such a big deal. Like the way it was explained to me was like. Eh, we got a room. We're gonna have some beers. <laughs> so I was like, "All right, I'll show up and we'll have some beers after I eat." And no, uh, this shit happened. Continue. Be yeah, yeah. So the Midwest Mythical Meetup uh, was a ton of fun. Um, so many great sponsors. Our title sponsor, Wolf King Customs, of course, Len Laguardia. Um, I commissioned Steve. Well, technically, I didn't commission Steve yet because I think you have to pay. Uh, I asked Steve and Steve did it. Once I pay him, I believe it's called commissioned. So, um, yeah, and sculpted, uh, not one, but two different kick ass skeleton heads. Um, and Len, uh, uh, at Wolf King customs as our sponsor printed up dozens of them and they, uh, were free giveaways to the mythical meetup. So everybody that walked in mm-hmm. got not one, not one, but two heads, uh, for free from Wolf King customs Hey-o. sculpted by Steve Bashotti. Um, and, uh, so that kind of kicked things off. Jeremy Gerard was there, uh, as was Jim Preziosi from the four horsemen. Uh, Jeremy unveiled 11 pages of the 10 year anniversary mythic legions Four horsemen book, which is was super cool. Um, and that was the first time anybody got to see it. Uh, I was so pumped that they were willing to do that for our event. Um, and we're in the book and we are in yeah, the book. Buddy. <laughs> uh, and which, uh, which again is, is just super cool. Um, the, uh, it, the, the room was full. The room was the perfect size for that group. It was, yeah. it was nice and full, lots of smiles, lots of laughs. Um, we did some, uh, mythic, uh, mythical meetup badges, you know, so everybody kind of had a little, a uh, little souvenir on top of, uh, of fun. the heads. Um, and there was a ton of giveaways. Um, Maverick, uh, salvaging gave away, um, uh, gave away a custom, uh, Maynard Searing gave away a custom. Um, we had a ton of, uh, figures that we had set aside and hand packs and different things from the four horsemen that we gave away. Um, uh, Carver customs gave away one of their, uh, char bots, um, and accessories and a staff, uh, dang studios, uh, dusty Staniford gave away five, um, the cabal creations coloring books. Ooh, um, show everybody Oh shirt. yes. Um, this, uh, uh, dusty did this <laughs> for us. Um, obviously, uh, kind of a spinoff of the Bohemian Rhapsody from queen, um, the four figures. And then of course, Cody cat there at the bottom. Um, 
And uh, so we have this for the studio. There's a second one. And I don't know which one of you sons of bitches stole it because there was two that were framed. Um, and then each one of us got uh, a smaller print for us, which was super cool. Um, and uh, what else was on that? What else was on that table? Am I missing anything? Um, I don't know. If, if I missed you, I apologize. It was a, uh, it was setup night. And then it was, I was, you know, an hour late getting in there uh, because of setup. Um, if you guys, if there was something else that we gave away that you guys had, had donated, uh, uh, I, I apologize. I, it was, there's no ill will. There's just, there was a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So there was a fountain. Yes. Thank you. Drunk Gizmo Customs. Alexander Deshaw, um, gave us a kick-ass fountain to give away capes, from uh, capes from uh, Dar uh, Darla Ackerman through Curtis. Yep. There was a couple of capes. Um, and uh, in the capes too, and, and part of my thanks UPS guy is I got a badass cape from uh, from Darla through Curtis. Yeah. Um, and they come with these awesome uh, nipple pasties of Curtis's face. <laughs> I slapped these on the old lady last night and took her to Pound Town. Um, so yeah, that was that was pretty. You're gonna cool. honk yourself, so, Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. But. Yeah. Your allegiance package. Your allegiance package. Hell yes. A couple of t-shirts. Um, a couple of figures, uh, some stuff painted up. There was, they had a couple of great things on there as well. Thank you for that. Whoever posted it. That was um, uh, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. I damaged figures from Trav. Was that a uh, thing? <laughs> well, cause, uh, one, a, a couple of the boxes had bad corners. Oh, okay. Um, so, but, but yeah, and that's, you know, it, uh, you know, speaking to Trevor, I mean, some of the people that came out, I obviously, we already mentioned dusty and Maverick and, um, Carver and, uh, uh, Jesse and Curtis were running the Wolf King booth and had some of their stuff. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, fr uh, Frank and Anna Lira were there and found out um, Frank likes so, dogs probably as much as Steve. Really? So there was a, they probably. have an adorable puppy and we were sharing puppy photos and what have you. That, so yeah, that's the um, dog he loves yeah. or the dog well, loves him. Uh, Carver customs, Brian and Stacy Lynn, of course, you know, Stacy was there as well. Um, that kind of, that corner kind of got built up fun. Eric Miller was, you know, in the mix back there. <clears throat> I will say, um, so he, we've seen Eric Miller, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Eric Miller's stuff is it's, it's just next level. And it has been since the day he's been showing it. So <clears throat> while I'm not necessarily surprised by his work anymore, I'm still always thoroughly impressed. Blown right. Yeah. You know, yeah, absolutely yeah. blown away <clears throat> last year at Mesquite Con, Frank Lira rolls up and he goes, Hey man, I painted uh the shieldings for you. Oh, that's really cool. He was getting into customizing. <clears throat> you want to talk about being blown away, being yeah, surprised? <laughs> he had a whole freaking setup, custom. I mean, just knocked it out of the park. And I could not believe how far he's come in in just a year. Stuff was absolutely awesome. Yeah. Um. So yeah, big shout out to him. And um. But yeah, there was a lot of people that came kind of from all over, and uh, some people weren't able to make it. Uh, Noah Pratt wanted to be there; he wasn't able to make it. Uh, Next David, year. yep, David Williams was trying to make it from Arizona. Yeah. Next year, um, and uh, yeah. So, uh, and again, there's no way to to thank. I mean, shit, Mal, all the way from the UK, you know, showed <laughs> we had up. Some and, fun hanging with Mal, and of course, weekend. we mentioned you know Jeremy Gerard and Jim Preziosi, and yep. um, yeah. it just the the hits just kept on coming it was a it was a great weekend the legions uh, legions lair guys of course nate strong the other half of um of legions lounge um you know and, it, and it's funny too because i i i think about uh legions lounge i think about trevor oh hey legions lounge come. i don't think about nate oh yeah legions lounge was coming because nate was nate was a friend you know, we, we were hanging out right. and, and socially and, and partying with him before that. So Nate strong in my mind is just, he, Oh, he's a friend that yeah, Nate's does coming this, because you know? he's our friend. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, but that's, what's cool, you know, like I said, but you know, meeting all these other guys, that's why they're coming now too, you know? Yeah. And yeah, maybe it started because they were part of this podcast, but now they come to socialize and, and be friends. And, um, you know, my, um, Michael Casper, uh, and Brad Jones, uh, of course, you know, we're there and a lot. Yeah. Like it was, I, I hung, I actually hang out, hung out with most of those people because we had the after parties right. <laughs> out in the lounge and right. uh, getting kind of drunk and just laughing our asses off. I got to spend some time actually talking with Jeremy Gerard for a while, which I right. don't really ever get to do. Right. So that was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, I had Jeremy at my house. <laughs> took him home. Took him home. Took him to see the salt pile. Showed him around. <laughs> I had a guy from Four Horsemen Studio just hanging out in my house. Pretty cool. 
that's a huge that's a huge brag in this circle and any other circle you go into they're like look at this fucking loser so... <laughs> he was zip tied but <laughs> right. oh i did try to fart on maverick didn't i it those were thick i'm sorry i kind of i remember i had to stop a random guy and go just stop he's like woof. he's headed to the bathroom mm-hmm. and i'm like I said I farted and it's really bad. He's like, "Oh, I don't care. I gotta go." <laughs> so he went right through it. So he, yeah, he went right through. Yeah, it was it was rough though. Yeah. Maverick paid for the damn. For yes, fifty people. Yeah, we said it before, but yeah, it needs recognition again. Hell yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, and then Frank Lira dropped a donation on top of on top of what Maverick did to get people in uh, to go towards the the pretzel bar and whatnot as well. Oh, and that's awesome. So. Yeah, it was um, just it, it's a great group of like minded people. There were Legions fans that I had interacted with out, out on the interwebs mm-hmm. that were actually there in person, yeah. which was super cool. And a uh, couple of youngsters, there was two uh, two kids in the crowd under the age of 10. And um, they both freaking walked out with an arm full of swag. What, it was nice that we could kind of target them a little bit. And they were just they were on cloud nine. Man. I, what sucks? It, it's kind of cool, but it also kind of sucks is so Seabolt went there that day seawalt another one of my my old friends from uh god we've known each other since kindergarten but anyway so he hasn't really been into legions well he picked one up there of course and he then did he yeah. saw this other one and then he went oh and then he came over to pick up uh because he had me pick up the gin i forget his name but uh had just me... gin oh okay perfect yeah. i picked that dude Calazar? up what calazar oh he does have a name that's yeah. right Okay, I believed you. I, I believe <laughs> I have the figure. I believed you. I believe. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah. So like he, I, I grabbed that for him, and uh, he came over the following day. You know, picked that up, and I go, "Well, you want to, you know, see what I got? You know, I just got a small display, but let's check it out." And comes over. I probably got forty figures or whatever, and he's just like, "Oh, oh God, oh, 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 what's that vampire guy?" Blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, uh, like all week, every fucking day, like, oh man, I need to get a hold of Travis because maybe he's got some stuff that I can get. And blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Hey, hey man, you got some yeah, yeah. Jesus, man. He's so, yeah. He, um, we kind of, he's fucked because <laughs> I know him. He obsesses. So, so Travis and I may have, may have gotten the next generation started. My, uh, one of my secretaries from work came yep. to the show. Saw she her. A, um, the, brought... the real hero in Steve's job. She does all right. She does a good job. She has, she helps. She helps out good. Um. So she's got. I don't know what the relation of this kid is to her, but she's. It's a young. It's. I don't know if it's a nephew or if it's a what it is. But she's has a 10, 11, 12, 11 year old boy with her, and he wants a knight figure. Okay. Okay. Now that was before he came. He wanted a knight, not because of legions. He did. He wasn't aware. He was he just. He was looking for an action and... figure that was a knight. Yes. Okay. He, he they end up stumbling upon the, my, the the mythic legions booth. He sees the valiant knight. I mean, you know, is sitting right there. And uh, uh, she had go told him she would buy him one thing there, and that's what she bought him. So then Travis goes over and gives him mm-hmm. a skeleton builder. Skeleton builder, I think. Um, one of the yeah, he gives him one of the yeah. I think it's one of the. Uh, Deluxe Legion Builders skeletons. Gives them that. Kids overjoyed, blah, blah, blah. Only the first hits free, kid. Uh (laughs) So then then I go to work the next day and I'm talking to Shannon at at work and she goes, he is just, he's, he loves those figures. He keeps playing with them and he's just, he's over the moon. It's all he talks about is mythic legions. She goes, but he says he wanted to know if there's like a story behind these guys. I'm like, (laughs) oh, shit. Go to sourcehorseman.com and there's a ton of characters on there with bios and everything else and he can get lost for days in lore and everything else about these characters. Now, I don't know who his parents are, but they're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's rough, man. I mean, a kid that age getting exposed to a toy like that, I explained that to, to her. I'm like, you know, this, this is an adult. I mean, it's not just for adults. It's right. great for kids. Kids can play with them. Right, but, they, but you're they you're not you're not getting a nine dollar figure off you're the shelf at Walmart. The adult price or you're not right. in the ch- children's price range. No. Um, but 
you know. Hey, Could you imagine when you were fucking 10 years old or whatever and getting toys with that type of no. detail and articulation and shit? I just, I can't <laughs> wait for this 11 year old kid to be posted where his fucking shipping notice is on the cabal. <laughs> my my aunt said she ordered it, but she hasn't got a shipping notice yet. Anybody getting anything? Start them bitching young. <laughs> Super chat. Super chat. Carver Customs, man. Uh, so Brian, uh, and of course his uh his better half, Stacy. Uh, thanks again for the invite to be a part of Mesquite Con. Can't wait to do it again next year. Um, absolutely awesome. It was so first and foremost, it was just great hanging out with you guys and seeing you guys. And then on top of that, you had some cool ass stuff um to to share with the world and then on top of that you became a vendor for me <laughs> then on top of that you were one of the donators for the mythical meetup and the, the list goes on and on it was uh we were so happy to to see you guys so yes uh, uh next year for sure absolutely awesome um side note since i was talking about old seabolt um he was on a podcast last night I've never heard of this. You, you're the, a Star the, Wars guy, maybe, yeah. Talk, talking Star Wars or the, something. Yeah, right? I saw it. I the, did see it. Did you? The, yeah, uh, yeah, I did see the podcast. I saw an ad or right. something yeah. for it. The Force is with Jesse, I believe is is who the guy is called. I think he's from Australia. Okay. So, um, hmm. yeah, apparently, Seabolt was on the episode last Boy, night. Your buddy's and getting... he's begging to come on our show. He wants to talk about mythic fucking legions, and I won't be on that episode, you guys. <laughs> He's my best friend since kindergarten. I don't want to be anywhere near him. So, so yeah. Uh, hopefully, um, I, I, I hopefully still, it was good. I, don't I know. still laugh at all the people that are interested in being on the show. Yeah, I, I shouldn't say I laugh at them. I laugh because I'm just. We never in a million years did 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 I ever no. think that people were going to be like, "Hey, man, can I be on the show?" Uh, uh, sure. Sh sure, yeah. I, if you want to sit around with us dumbasses on a Sunday morning, that's fine. I thought it was fun bringing <laughs> bringing Trevor and Mal in here. Uh, because you know Trevor walks in and he's just looking around like, like that look where somebody has they've seen something on TV. I know we're not on TV, right. but it's like that right. where you've seen something and you come right in you here see and the you, set. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you come in here and he's like, it's smaller than it looks on the <laughs> on the thing. It's and small then, as fuck. Well, uh, the well, there's like a door. Like yeah, if you look at the picture though, the like door it looks like this big fucking place. It looks like the background is actually. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, what yeah. you guys are seeing, it looks like the background is farther away from Pete than it is, and wider. Yeah, yeah. No, but you know, I right fucking there, and I <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty sure too. You know, Trevor walks in and he's like, he looks at all this and he goes, "How does this motherfucker have so much money, but he won't turn the fucking heat on in the podcast studio? This is cold as shit in it's here. All, yeah, it's really. Cold. I mean, my feet hurt. It's His so cold. Basement's always cold because I love it's got it. like the laminate." Right. and all that shit but like i i, li I like it to be cooler yes yeah, Cody's but it's still wearing it's, his jacket yeah, it's cold <laughs> cody's literally growing his hair out because of the podcasting yeah. he's like i gotta yeah, weird. yeah. <laughs> i gotta stay warm Lacroix. So. Uh, i don't usually choose Lacroix. uh it's not bad i just just it's fuzzy water so uh but yeah it's not it's not too shabby jesse we will make that happen the next time you're in michigan we will make sure even if we got to record an, an off night we will get you we'll get you on the show You've uh, yeah. you, you and your people have had us on numerous platforms, I, numerous times. I didn't and... get to spend much time with him at all, and it bums me out. I mean, there's a bunch of people like that. It was just like in passing, like, hey, right. blah, blah, blah. Jesse's in the zone, man. Yeah, Jesse, yeah. when he's setting his shit up and everything, he's pretty. He's, he's all business. He's dialed in, man. Dialed in. What was what was great? So one of the one of the guys that I play D and D with uh, came out with his wife and daughter, and they're walking the show. And I introduced him to Jesse because they're they're both DMs. And um, I'm sorry, Dungeon Masters. Um, they both run, uh, you know, games and campaigns. And they were talking, they got talking character creation. And it was so cool to see two people that are obviously creatively brilliant discussing D&D characters and, and different things from story arcs and campaigns that they have done. It was a really cool moment. And I, that was one of the few times I really got to talk really in depth with Jesse. Um, but yeah, they, uh, he, uh, watch, watching him set that booth up. You're absolutely right. Go uh, he's got, I mean, he's just, it's, it's there, cool. Man. I was sitting right next to him and I want to make sure he didn't miss the lunch order. I'm like, Hey Jesse, you uh, just, well, just so you know, the lunch orders. He's like, Steve, I'm setting this up. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way he said that. None. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I would I would believe the I didn't stroke his hair. I, did, I, yeah. I would believe that the Pope that you were in Vatican City and the Pope called your wife a whore before <laughs> I would believe Jesse said that. So I wonder if she'd be into that. Being a being called a whore by the Pope? 
good. You never know. People are into things. How was Mesquite Con? It was good. Good. It was uh it was pretty steady all day. Um uh a ton of ton of happy vendors. I I didn't hear of any unhappy vendors. I did hear numerous vendors uh want it to be two days next year. And I'm like, that's easy for you to say. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you're not footing the bill uh for that <laughs> uh incredibly expensive building. Um and I'm gonna be honest, I love Mesquicon and it's 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 mine and but in in the reality of it is it's i don't think it's physically big enough to warrant two days not um, yet anyway i don't think you know and the the advantage would be like hey there's a thousand people that wanted to be there on saturday that had to work and couldn't be there and they would come on sunday right. okay and if the vendors wanted to be two days that's totally fine but are you going to be fine when I charge you double for your booth? Right. And they're going to be like, Whoa, whoa wait, wait a minute. I, that, <laughs> I didn't sign on for that. I wanted to spend the same amount of money and get double the exposure to try to make double the sales. Oh, you did. Did you? Okay. Then, <laughs> um, but, but no, that part. Yep. So no, it was, it was good. Um, the, the planning phase was a clusterfuck wrapped in a shit show set into a dumpster fire. Um, because of who I am as a person, uh, and that's it, fair. Uh, it, <laughs> sure, it, it, we it, all agree with that. It, it, it all came. I mean, it all came together. Don't get me wrong. It just it it fell short Always of the glory. You know, <laughs> it all came together. And falls uh, upstairs. Yeah. There's a there's definitely a list of stuff to do. I've I've already started to put together a street team and um to help out with some things. And I've already talked to Jeremy about promotion. Um, he's got the talent and the drive, and you know, utilizing him better uh, moving forward. Um, I've already spoken with the venue about trying to book earlier. Um, uh, did not go anywhere. I talked to the venue about bringing food vendors back and, uh, that did, I got shot down on that as well. Um, so they are stupid. not the easiest place to work with. Um, but that is now the people like Erica, who my, is my contact was a saint and is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Um, but she is handcuffed by corporate structure and rules. And so, but yeah, so, um, geographically i mean it's as big as it can be and uh we're gonna have to start expanding back into the old mesquite con if we want to get bigger but in order to do that we've all been to shows that have two rooms and you have got to be on point when it comes to yeah. signage and you've got to get maps out publicly to everybody beforehand yeah. don't forget there's two separate rooms they're only a hundred feet apart and but people for a, are going to forget right they're not gonna know they're and gonna, for a, I didn't know right and then those rooms. vendors are upset and yeah. you know so it's um, it can be done. It just, it's, there's a lot more that goes into the planning side, which, which falls back to me. So um, all in all, I was happy. Um, I have a whole list of things that I need to do better that I want to do better. I want to bring cosplay Same list as last year. <clears throat> no, it got bigger because I did things worse this year. So <laughs> Oh, um, like same but, list of things to do better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so, and that's why I mean, Steve, Steve couldn't even manage to be there last year. So he can shit talk. I was there wants, last year. Yeah. The year like before. fucking 2 PM. It was the year before. Oh, so, but at any rate, um, I'm happy. Not as happy as I could be. So we'll get there. Good. All right. Well, that's good. Well, I, um, Suppose I should just talk about some things. Get it off your chest, Stephen. Yeah. Get it off your. <clears throat> Courtney. Courtney will chest. find somebody new. It's not a big deal. It's probably time. She deserves better. <laughs> On a very special, my wife is going to kill me. Well, I just uh, I, we've been a, a a quartet as far as the hosting team, you know. For quite some time here and three of the four of us have uh encountered the horrible disease of diabetes and uh you know i've been spared of that for a long time and i i i decided i decided that you know i'm not gonna let my friends go through this alone Thank so God. um I intentionally contracted the disease. You're like those people that intentionally gain 30 pounds so they can get bariatric surgery. Yeah. Perfect. I was informed that I succeeded in my goal a while ago. Not, not, not that long ago. And, uh, through 
You've been diabetic for three years. We <laughs> just only went to the doctor to get diagnosed recently. Let's let's call a spade a spade, Stephen. I don't think you're right because uh, I'd been to the I'd had blood work done uh, just over a year ago, and my I was my A1C was fine. And I only started experiencing the thirst in the last month and a half or two. Well, that's crazy. Man. Can't get enough water. Can't yeah. get enough water. All Can't the time. Enough. All the time. Yeah. So, but I don't want anybody to worry because I contracted it. I seen what it was all about and I beat it in three days. It's gone. I'm no longer diabetic. Um, I don't know what the big fuss is all about. I don't know why it was. It's such a big deal, but obviously, uh oh, what happened to my mic? <laughs> Even your mic knows you're a fucking. The liar. Lord, uh, come me. on, I'm dead. Are we all dead? Test, test. I don't test. know. Can you guys hear us? I can't hear you either. What happened? Then it's your headphones. Uh, maybe it's the headphones. The Lord intervened. <laughs> hey, uh, can everybody at home hear? Hello. Somebody tell us if you can hear. It's showing that yeah. the mic's happening on my on the iPad. But it just went out in my ears. Hey, YouTube, can you guys hear us? Unplug your headphones. All, All sound good. good. Thanks, okay. Thanks, Brian. So I'm going to take these off because apparently they don't do shit. So, I mean, here. <laughs> They're look, also mine. Boom. I'm within range and have been in range for days now. Why did my sister call? I don't know. But she's hot. Tell her I said hi. I'm within range and I have been in. You see the green? I'm in the green. I've been in the green. Yeah. I don't know what the big deal is. Boom. <laughs> Pizza on a myriad of pills. I went. I just I threw a my, myriad I, of pills. You're on a myriad of pills. <laughs> I'm not. I'm on a pill. It's like you know, oh, in a shot, right? But, but I threw my shit in the garbage already. <laughs> I don't need it. I am like they gave me the metformin. I took the metformin. What did your say, Pete? What? Uh, He's I, one point off of me. I'm 139. Steve's 140 right now. Currently. What does that mean? That's our blood sugar. Okay. We both we have monitors stuck in our arm. I have a monitor in my arm. That's how I know I've cured. I'm cured. Uh, I was up. I had an episode on Monday. Uh, where was it? Tuesday. It was Tuesday, I think, where uh, I, I my my blood sugar was up to three eighty. It was a ridiculous um, number, and I had a little episode, and I ended up in an ambulance. No way. So did you know about that? What what part? No, I didn't. So what part of you beating diabetes ends with you in a fucking ambulance? <laughs> three eighty <laughs> to on Tuesday to. In perfect range on Sunday. Beat it. No. No. It's gone. I, no. You know, with your logic, I've beaten a lot of things. I my sister's <laughs> calling back, so I better answer in case it was an emergency. Yeah, just in case. Hello? Um, so uh what's up? Normally people that have a 3D blood sugar don't uh, actually really end up in an ambulance. Um, unless it's prolonged for a certain period of time, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> that doesn't. Uh, yeah, so I don't believe it's bullshit. Um, and this is also where I can say that I oh. am much more okay. qualified to speak about ambulances uh, right. because that's what I do for a living. Uh, and he pumps water out of hydrants so they don't freeze. So, <laughs> so <laughs> what three eighty? What were you saying? What were we, I'm sorry, that was not an emergency, but um. I got old parents. So when your sister calls you and then calls you back, you got to check. Well, I, so that's a system that uh, I've had with my family for years and years. Yeah. They call me. And if I don't answer, cause I'm doing something, if they need something, they call back immediately. Then I step out and go, Hey, what's up? Uh, I can't find my keys. Not my fucking problem. I'm at work. <laughs> um, so Steven, I am proud that you have your sugar in a good range. Uh -huh. Um, and can, can I see your phone real quick? I just want to look. So, um, just so everybody knows what you can see this line when he says for days, that's from 12 a.m. last night till now. Um, <laughs> that's not days. It's not even a full yeah, day, but I know. let alone multiple days, which the ass at the end back, would though. indicate. There is. I so don't know what, how to do it. So but... check this out. If you go, this is what I like to look at, right? Um, so if you go here and you go to time in ranges, you're at 87%. You're in good range. 13% mm -hmm. you're in yellow. That was my three days. So... If we go to Peter's and we look at his time and ranges, he's 89 to 11. So just so you know, that's better. 
that is better, better than but you. you're on meds. I threw mine away. Both of you. <laughs> How did you end up in an ambulance? Yeah, that's right. Because he because his his phone went his phone alerted and he saw it was three eighty. No, I didn't have this. And yet. he and he got dizzy and he went, oh no, shit! No. And he called the ambulance. And it's we call it a panic attack uh, in the in the EMS world. Not so He's much. just a bitch. <laughs> so there wasn't anything wrong with him. He just had a little <laughs> pitter patter and oh my nope. goodness! Do you like, no, pa- you like pass out or what? Behind the wheel of a vehicle. Uh, no, it happened. I, I, I'd been giving a uh, the little prick your finger test. I didn't have this monitor on me at that time. And I was giving it the night before. And she's like, all right, in the morning, you got to prick your finger and you got to log it in a book and then do it later in the night after your biggest two hours after your biggest meal. So I get up in the morning with no really point of reference. This is my first time I've ever done the finger pricking thing, right? I get 380. I don't think anything of it because that mean, number means nothing to me. I don't even know what that means. So, except really, I, they don't teach you that in fire hydrant school. That's weird. They might, but I was sleeping that day. <laughs> so he has, he's got a three day certification. So, so I go. Uh, so, but I did. I did know. I did overhear that one forty is kind of like standard. Not standard, but you, you don't want to go much over one forty. Gotcha. You know, you would like to be less. Seventy to one forty is a good range. Maybe some people will say one fifty. It's it's in that area. So I'm thinking, man, you know, that's like twice as much, but I have diabetes, so it's supposed to be high, right? I wasn't that worried about a 380 number. That worked, but I was kind of thinking about, man, that's like twice of 140. Uh, they do math and more. School, that's actually quite a bit more than twice. Uh, so yeah. I just text my buddy Jeremy because Jeremy yeah. has been dealing with this a little longer. I'm like, hey, what's your normal number when you when when you when as you first as diagnosed? opposed to texting the guy who's dealt with it four times as long <laughs> yeah. as the both of them combined <laughs> well, and <laughs> also is licensed to treat it no don't ask <laughs> him jeremy's like you're good <laughs> but jeremy's actually I, te- I texted travis because i knew he went to walgreens <laughs> one time and they've got a pharmacy so i thought hey trav what do you think about this? but jeremy has actually done good things to fight against it and you and just ate christmas cakes <laughs> <laughs> so there <laughs> four four of the five years that i've been diabetic i've been just fine the last year yes i fell off the wagon but okay so yep. <clears throat> i don't know i watch eat sugar every sunday so when when have you seen me eat sugar on a sunday uh two weeks ago <laughs> well, what did we have Not today <laughs> we had those little pile of those little things you had to unwrap throw in your mouth you were just mowing on them i was like oh that was that. two months ago you all are Isn't fat. Why are you <laughs> having to... No, 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 no. no. But, but, so, you're fatter than me. <laughs> so, so. I've eaten a rack of ribs that way so much. <laughs> you know, shut up. So I tell Jeremy, or I called, I text Jeremy. I'm like, what were your numbers? I don't know. He told me like, well, in the beginning, they were like three, 180, 190, I think you said. So like a little, uh, yeah, maybe a little over 200. But yeah, it was, yeah. Definitely. And I'm like, well, I said, I text him back. And I'm like, dude, I'm at like. I got 380 this morning. He's like, fuck, go to the doctor right now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I never had that eye ever. <laughs> I mean, that I know of. <laughs> so I call a doctor to see, because I don't know. Nurse says, we need to see you right away. I'm like, she's go home, get your testing kit, and come in. Because they're not sure if it's been calibrated, and it was a false reading. And I'm like, okay. Um. So I go home and I am, I get my testing kit. I'm on my way back to, I'm on my way back to the doctor, which is totally two opposite directions. So, and I'm just about ready. And this doesn't mean going to mean anything to you guys at home, but for these guys here, I'm on M120 and I'm just about ready to get on the Cloverleaf to go north on 31. And all of a sudden, your doctor at Norton on Henry at uh, Trinity, the big Trinity building. Why would you go in South on 31? I was going south. See, okay. I'm stupid. Right. Direction <laughs> doesn't happen at Hydrant School either, other than lefty Lucy, righty tighty. So you're driving. I'm driving, talking to my brother. My brother had called me, talking to my brother on my phone. All of a sudden, his brother knew a diabetic once, so he wanted to give his opinion. I wasn't talking. He just called me. He just happened to have called me. All of a sudden, I get to fucking spins like crazy. Like, just whoop de whoop. I can't fucking, you know, everything you're disoriented. I'm driving. I'm like, fuck, this ain't good. I probably should pull over. So I pulled over on the side right before the clover leaf takes you around. Pulled over, but never pull out. And uh I'm still in the phone with my brother, and I'm like, damn. 
I'm like, I just pulled over because I'm fucking dizzy. It's crazy. Is 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 I'll get out. And I haven't been dizzy like that. I've had panic attacks and I get woozy, but I've never been head spins ever. Did it feel like you were spinning or did it feel like the room was spinning around you? Felt like the car was spinning around me. Okay. That's like, typically an indication of vertigo and less dizziness. So like you were drunk? Like no, a, way worse than being like drunk. Like you had a, like an ear infection or something going on with your inner ear. Inner yeah, I was just, face. and then, and then. At least that's what they told me at hydrant school. And then I got weak as fuck and shaky, which could have been anxiety. I don't know. Uh, it could, but it could have been your sugar too. Uh, that's the problem. I don't know. Those things all mimic each other half the time. Somehow that's this all happened. Know. Somehow this all happens the next day after. Yeah, that's the weird part. This was the only day he was diabetic in his history. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he fixed it after that. Yeah. He's no longer diabetic. So. <laughs> it's all mental. It's like, his diabetes was like my 24-hour flu. Diabetes. That's not true. <laughs> I was diagnosed a couple weeks earlier, but that was just the day after I had met with the nutritionist. Gotcha. So I knew I, I'd been, I'd been, I'd known what I. What a waste of fucking time! Just look me in the face and go, "Hey, all that stuff you like, don't eat it anymore. Have a good day." Yeah. That's all I did for an hour was hear about all the shit I can't have anymore. I'm like, "Fuck you, fucking bad news bear." Yeah. So I was scared. I'll admit that's scary. The example was scared, and uh, it freaked me out a little bit. The example, example, <laughs> freaked me out a little bit. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know if it was an anxiety attack. Didn't know if it was my if I was gonna. Jeremy really did a good job by telling me you could be in a coma. Now I don't think that's actually true anymore. Yeah. I don't think three eighty is quite high enough Not for that. I think close. it's five hundred or so. I just googled wow. it. It's over. <laughs> so over. So I googled this, my, a standard monitor. Once you hit 500 just says critical high. It doesn't give you a numeric value. Uh, and typically you have to be that for a prolonged period of time. A spike of 380 is not going to put you into diabetic ketoacidosis. It's not going to put you into thing, seizures. It's not going to put you into a coma. Well, and the thing that so, I read was like worst case scenario. Oh, absolutely. You could. But and I'm like, but that's what, that's what, that's what you live in. That's what I live in sure. is. We always de- we always treat the worst case scenario because yeah. you because you don't know. Mm-hmm. You ever feel like that driving on the goddamn road? You fucking pull over and you call nine one one. That's what you do. You know uh, what I mean? Pulling over so, was not was a, was not an. I mean that was common sense. Calling nine one one, I struggled with because I'm like, if I sit here for ten minutes, will it go away? Is there going to be three people on the rig to lift me on the cot? Because two ain't going <laughs> to do it. Well, that's just mean. <laughs> no. <laughs> You said whatever you want. That's the one that got him. <laughs> Once every other week, ProMed calls for a lift assist because they can't lift somebody, and we go over there and help them. So the ambulance shows up. They were right down the road, anyways. Um, did, you get, did you get their names? I did not. Okay. A um, couple of women. I didn't hold it against them. I was like, "Hey, what you they know, look like? Were they cute? Not necessarily." <laughs> So these ugly bitches came up. <laughs> Very nice ugly bitches, though. Very nice. Um, and uh oh, the cop showed up first. He comes up to the window, he's like, All right, can you get up? Now, this is the weird part. And you're you're on the side of US 31. Yes. At the river flats? No, no. I'm on I'm no, I'm on the side of M120. On the side of M120. Right by the exit to get on to 31. Oh, one second. I just gotta... What are you doing? Did you respond to a call of an extremely fat guy with a potential diabetic emergency on the side of M120 last week? Question mark. <laughs> they, came, go ahead, go ahead. they came from right down the road by Meyer. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that matters. But so <laughs> this is the weird part. This is the weirdest thing I've ever felt, though, is the cop says, can you get up? Can you get in? Can you walk? Oh, I'm I can like, get it up. I'm a man's man. I'm the example. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I think I can get up. I think I can walk. Dizzy from a boner. I get out of my van. <laughs> blood, all, all of his sugar-filled blood was in his pockets. <laughs> in fact, if I fuck you right now, you're gonna get diabetes. <laughs> all you gotta do is break there's, off. And get there's so much diabetes. sugar in my load right now. My semen is gritty. It's so full of sugar. Tastes good. You what? Put- it was, oh so much, it, it was like a coffee with my dick. It was like a it was like a mouthful of liquid sour patch kids. Oh, so good. Continue. So, the cops like, can you get can the cop and then the, the, the ambulance that showed up? He's like, Can you get in the back of the ambulance? Like, I think so. So I get out of the van, which is a really weird feeling. I felt twice as heavy as I normally feel. I don't know what that was all about, but I was like, whoa, I'm weak. I feel fucking weak and weird. 
go up to the ambulance, get into the back of the ambulance. They do tests. They prick my finger. They look at my, uh, what was your, what was your sugar on their monitor? It was 250. It went down. Okay. Or your monitor was off or my monitor could have been off, except I did do it twice that morning. I don't know. Um, and my monitor has been on since because I tried, I tested it against, I tested the blood monitor against my arm. Against your freestyle Libre three. Yeah. So in the back of the ambulance, blah, blah, blah. Make a long story short. Then Courtney shows up at the back of the ambulance because I was on the phone with my brother when this happened. So he called her immediately when blah, blah, blah. So she knows where I'm at. So she ends up showing up at the side, on the side of the road. We make a decision to, uh, this story gets really boring now. So I'm going to just wrap it up and make a decision to get out of the back of the ambulance, jump in a car with Courtney, go to my doctor's appointment. They wouldn't see me because I was 20 minutes late. It's just, kicking. Hey, I told you to get here. The reason I told you to get here was because of your diabetes, which just caused you to pull over and call an ambulance, but we don't have time to see you right <laughs> yeah, now. Isn't that a kick to the sugar dick? That's, but yeah, that, that is, that is a, that is a snapshot into the fucking American healthcare system yep. and why it's so fucked. She says, we have a 10 minute threshold. You're 20 minutes late. And Courtney got pissed. Courtney yeah. got oh, I would have fucking lit that motherfucker up. I would have, I would have, I would have taken, oh my goodness. I, Steve, I'm pissed off for you right now. I'm so upset. Then the doctor says. So then this is just the lady that, you know, gets you in <laughs> and she's like, well, I can't do it and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, um, so then, uh, Courtney says he was just in an ambulance. His blood sugar is 380 and they said they needed to see him immediately here. And she's like, well, I'm sorry that I know those things happen, but you know, you gotta go. <laughs> so <clears throat> then the nutritionist lady that had just seen me the night before happened to walk by and she's like, Hey, what's going on? And I'm like, well, this is what's going on. And she says, you're at 380 right now. She goes, you need to tell, she tells the lady at the desk, you need to tell the doctor, email the doctor right now and tell her what his levels are. And As opposed him. to walking down the fucking hallway yeah. and saying, hey, <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, that's it's, the, it's the old blue collar comedy, Ron White. And I came over to the airplane system and I said, Hey, we're having engine trouble. And he could have just turned around and said, <laughs> this wasn't my normal doctor my normal doctor is gone this is the pa under him that she's communicating with okay, okay. and so the pa pa below him comes back and says i don't have time i'm too booked tell him to go to emergency yeah because that's that's a great use I'm of like, our I'm emergency not going, healthcare system i'm not going to and emergency. you're gonna sit there for 10 fucking hours I'm not, yeah exactly i'm not going to emergency because by now the head spins are gone and i'm feeling a little better and everything seems to be subsiding and I'm like, no, I'm not going to the freaking emergency. That's Which is bullshit. good because that means your body's compensatory mechanisms are working. That's important. <coughs> so, the example. <coughs> example. <laughs> sugar dick. Nutritionist lady says, come back to my office. She goes back to my office. She goes, I want you to be able to see your sugar in real time. So that's when she put this monitor on my arm, set me up with this thing. She goes, I'm going to put an alarm on here. It'll go off. You get dangerous, blah, blah, blah. Just chill out and make an appointment to go see your doctor on Friday. And don't be late. And don't be late because your health is not important if you can't be on time. Exactly. <laughs> and if you're if you show up to your doctor appointments like you do the uh, podcast, you're never going to see them again. Super chat. Super chat. Uh oh, Curtis Ackerman. Fun of me. Stephen beating diabetes in three days is the equivalent of Caitlyn Jenner winning Woman of the Year in her first year as a woman. <laughs> no, it isn't. Its equivalent is Germany beating Poland. Germany invaded Poland. Three days later, they gave up. That's what I did to diabetes. You invaded diabetes and it gave up. We went to war. I won. Diabetes Decisively. didn't invade him. He invaded them. Diabetes. He diabetes can't handle me. So, um, I go home. It's so hard. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I didn't take this diet two weeks ago. To Stevens' toes. Two weeks ago. We are at the boring part of the story. Yeah, this has been the boring part for a while. That's fine. Drag it out. <laughs> so this is. So I just about you want 20, to update us on some more varicose veins. I just say twenty. Well, my story took four minutes. Yours is taking thirty. There's a lot more happening in my story. <laughs> Steve tells stories like he fucks. He gets he Ooh. gets right in there, and 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 Courtney's fired up, and she's get. And then there's this twenty minute where it's just nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna come. Oh, and he finished, and then we move on to the next story. But he spends the majority of the time in that just stroking in and out. She's like, got her kid. You guys ask a lot of questions you know? in my story <laughs> that I answered too. So therefore, you know, you know, it's true. We did, and we interjected funny things to try to make your story not suck so much ass, <laughs> which was helpful. So, 
Continue. That sugar but dick. Continue. <laughs> what? That? that sugar dick. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Two weeks before, when I had been told that I I had country, I was successful in contracting the disease, which you never told me. I didn't want to tell, didn't anybody, tell anybody at anybody. first. First, I wasn't going to tell anybody. I was like, I will not tell people until I have this beaten down like a little bitch. It's one of those guys. I don't tell anybody that I fucked up until I fixed it. Yeah. And then I'm like, hey, by I the way. I did fuck up, but I'm already done. I, uh, I backed the car and uh, into that tree. Curtis, I fixed it, but I did do it. Curtis <laughs> says, Stephen told diabetes a story and it gave up. <laughs> <laughs> This fucking Pager is like, I'm going to produce more insulin because I can't take this shit. Just can't do two, it. Two weeks prior, I didn't really take it a lot. So I didn't really make any changes. I didn't really do much. I was waiting to see what the nutritionist said, even though I kind of knew already um, based on what Jeremy and others have told me. Um, that so, But when I ended up in the back of an ambulance with the head spins and driving and all that shit, I was like, fuck this. I'm going to beat it down. So immediately... I eradicated all carbs and sugar from my diet and I have been kicking its ass ever since. So, uh, the pills, they make you shit. You guys know that. <laughs> the pill. And You've and heard not, my farts on this show. And it's not like, it's not like, <laughs> Hey man, it's you're going to need to make arrangements to use the restroom. Eventually <laughs> Matt Foreman's like, yo, you best get there. <laughs> But I, I love how, so, you know, they, they do a series of tests to diagnose you with diabetes. Um, and one of those tests, and Stephen only had to do one test because he's the example. <laughs> they looked and they were like, holy shit, this fucker is so fat. He cannot even tuck his large sized Apple watch band into the hole. He's got diabetes. <laughs> so they were like, yep, he's diabetic. They had to put two wristbands <laughs> on him. I'm already in the second hole. I used to be on the big hole. Boom, boom, shrinking already. <laughs> Getting in that second hole. But you, but yeah, you can't put it in you the... Can't, you can't tuck the <laughs> No, I had to drill these holes because they don't make it back. <laughs> this is the real hole right here. The, the factory hole. This is where the factory hole is. I had to drill these two holes so I can That's wear crazy. it. Because <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> the example. <laughs> so. All right. So yeah, I found it. I made changes. I stopped eating sugar. I um, I've been basically cured. <laughs> and I, I, I said, screw this metformin. My doctor told me I had to take it anyways, but I'm not listening to her. That that lady that wouldn't see me because I, she's like, and then she prescribed me another pill on Friday, and I'm like, wait, I'm already in range. Why are you prescribed? Well, we, this one might bottom you out. Why would I take another pill that might bottom me out when I'm in range right now? This makes no sense to me. Because it's not about right there. It's not about that instant moment. Mm -mm. Diabetes is about around the clock. Exactly. And it's about getting into a Ray one c is an average, basically, of the whole time because your blood cells get beat days. up by diabetes and they replace themselves every 90 days. Therefore, if you keep your levels low through 90 days, you should have a lower A1C because those blood cells are, have all been replaced and haven't had a chance to get beat up. There you go. I'll just keep myself in the green. My A1C will go down like a freaking like right. girl on but my dick. You... <laughs> In 10th grade, and uh, boom, I'm fixed. I, I, I know hmm. where you were going with that, but sound like, weird. Did somebody clip <laughs> that out, it might kind of sound like what I do. Stephen was also in 10th grade, yes, yeah. Stephen was the same age. That wasn't, the that that wasn't was a 10th grade girl <laughs> recently, okay? That well, was, yeah, I thought that they was, were, I mean, yeah, I mean, who, who thought nobody thought that, but when I was in 10th grade, you know. Yeah, fucking, sure. Thank you. Michael Squint's Pelodorus, if you wouldn't have been thinking, you wouldn't have thought that. So, well, welcome to the club, Stephen. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you that you, <laughs> um, I'm a little bit unproud that you are looking at everything with rose colored glasses. Uh, I hope you keep taking your meds. So what's the second pill they gave you? I don't even know. What's it for? Diabetes. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I didn't, I haven't taken it. Oh. Right. Flush it down the toilet. I oh, should. Doctor prescribes it. Go. I go to the the to Walgreens. Pick it up. Pay for it. Flush it right down the toilet. Flip it off as I go down. I say, I already got you beat, bitch. Fuck you. I'm I'm doing intermittent fasting. I haven't eaten since eight o'clock last night. Good for you. You're better than us all. Yeah. 
That's, what, that's the moral of the story. That's what I've been trying to say. See, you should have got diabetes first, and then you could have taught all of us how to handle it. Right. Well, you've handled it well. Not, not as well as me, but you've handled it well. Thanks. <laughs> So, all right moving on moving on talk about other fucking medical ailments we're we gonna talk about toys right, we're an hour in so what's the point now <laughs> uh, i think people enjoy hearing about our lives oh they do how pathetic are their lives <laughs> i think they enjoy bunch of pathetic watching me losers. kick the shit out of diabetes it's like watching rocky four you know which one's four? Is that with the Russian? Yes. Okay, I must break you. Yes. If he dies, he dies. But he may. <clears throat> That's you, what diabetes says. If you get dies. the ambulance bill? No. Uh, Hopefully yeah. it'll be a little cheaper because I didn't go anywhere. Uh, about five hundred fifty bucks. Man, that's just the cost of an evaluation. Whatever. All right. So, yeah, toy news, Jay. Yeah, lots of shit. <laughs> Let's do it then. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. All right. He's gonna moment. go pee right now because he's not diabetic anymore. <laughs> not gonna pee, all right? He's thirsty. He's, he's, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go jack off and get rid of some of this sugar. You want know one of my fuzzy waters? I can't do it, man. Can't do sparkling. Not for me. Depends okay. on what what place you go. Some of them are crap. Yeah, sugar free propel. I'm I'm digging it. Yeah, yeah. So aspartame shit tends to fuck with my stomach a little bit. It but doesn't I'm have still, that stuff. I still dabble. You dabble some of that. Yeah. A little bit. So we got some He-Man news, which is awesome. <laughs> Turtles of Gray Skull. So Fucking stupid. <sighs> oh goddamn stupid. It's I it's kind of amazing. And I should have brought all those figures with me. That's those are the ones that I missed today. But uh so they've released some potential new. Well, they will be new figures. I'm sure they're already in production, hopefully. Um, looks like they got a Mikey, a shredder, a tealer. Um, is April is Tila? No, April as the sorceress. Or sorceress. We yeah. have like a stealth ninja He Man. Who's? I think that's a stealth or like a. Looks like there's a Genghis Frog in there. Oh, uh, that's actually Leatherhead. What? So it's uh Leatherhead. Like, is there individual yeah. photos or no? Not of all of them. That's why I have that. Oh, it is Leatherhead. That's yeah. So Leatherhead yeah. as um uh, uh uh yeah that guy. <laughs> I don't think it's as, but uh, he could be like a mix with. Um, um, why can't I think of his fucking name? Anyway, he's Leatherhead. <laughs> uh, some more. Good six shooter. Welcome to episode <laughs> yeah. 12 of my body's going to kill me. <laughs> no shit. God damn it. So, yeah, we got uh, uh, Tila as a sorceress there. T you mean April is the sorceress? April is the sorceress there. I am so lost about this whole thing. It's fucking the, the turtles, turtles of Grey skull. skull. Uh so I guess this is kind of like the, the mashup that nobody ever wanted. They're sort of King He Man Splinter, I guess. Why are they so blurry? Um, it's a shitty <laughs> picture. It's a what? It's a shitty picture. I don't think they've like officially released <laughs> Splinter photos. looking Jack is kind of weird. Yeah, and that... <laughs> he's kind of got like Beast Man arms going on. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that's bad. We got Mikey, uh, in sort of a uh, is that flying fist he man uh garb? And he's god. got I don't know if that's supposed to be a wig or if he grew his hair out because in some iterations of the turtles, they got beards. I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, any more on there? Yeah, there's your the leather head. Getting them? Oh, I'm getting all these. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way I'm not. <laughs> there's some sort of uh maybe like a preternia type thing. Leo Shadow Ninja. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Dune. <laughs> yeah, Dune. Dune Leo. Yeah. This is <laughs> Bebop and Rocksteady is like a too bad type of thing, which is Creative as hell. Creative. Terrible execution. Yeah, we'll see in person, I guess. And then Casey with oh. a whole bunch of shit thrown on him. Oh, I I can't shit on that one too awful bad because I love <clears throat> Casey. He's got a Look at his jitsu fucking arms, hands, man. Right, he's got the jitsu hand as if it was like a, a hockey or like a goalie glove or something. Yeah. Uh, Look at his fucking biceps, yeah. man. Yeah, it's pretty buff. 
It's hard to tell with the shitty pitchers, though. Yeah. That's it. So, yeah, they they got some new shit coming along. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we will. Moving <laughs> on. Slimer. Slimer. It's a deluxe Slimer figure. From Sideshow? Sideshow. Yeah, buddy. Uh, $165. How big is he? Um, that's a good question. I'm sure it's written. Uh, there. I'm sure I took a screenshot somewhere. <laughs> I have to back up in my pictures here to find it because they, I took this so long ago. It was like before. Yeah, here we are. Okay. What the? That's a thermal picture. That's another thermal picture. What the fuck? <laughs> what happens when Jeremy Dude, gets no, I sent you photos? some. So I sent you some Beetlejuice <laughs> pictures earlier, and they fucking did that too. But like then I look at my pictures and they're fine. I go to send them again and they're fucking. Th- so I guess there you go. That's what the predator would see, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's crazy. Mouthful of wieners. Yep. Uh, twenty-two. Uh, centimeters. Twenty-two. Twenty-two centimeters. So about ten inches. Yeah. Eight inches. Was that? What's the conversion? Two point five four centimeters to one inch. <laughs> sure, I didn't learned we, that in hydro. Didn't school. we have an episode about that with uh, the Stay Puff? Uh, I don't know. I think it looks pretty awesome. That's fun. Yeah, there's <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm telling you, it was something with Messenger. What, what the <laughs> heck? I swear to God. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> ah, and then he's got a bunch of dicks in his mouth. Weenus. Yeah, Ween is kind of cool. Yeah, I think it looks great. Yeah, it is cool. So there you go. Wonderful. He's got a movable arm. LED. Yeah, lights up and everything. And it's got some. <laughs> I don't know if that shit he dropped or if he's shitting on there. Pretty fun. So, what do you think? What do I think? Get it? Oh, no. I won't be what? paying that money. 165 is off, man. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm telling you. I wonder if there's more like that. Because the Beetlejuice, man, I couldn't. All right. There's a new one. Mezco. They're doing Goonies. Dang. There you go. This is Mezco? There's going to be a golf course right where we're standing. (laughs) But. Chevy Nova? Those don't look like. They don't look like Mezco. No. Those are like something different. Is that like a statue? What is that? Has anyone done this before? I have not seen this before. This is the only picture I could find at the time that I took the picture. I did not do any more research beyond that. So I thought it was interesting. It looks like the, I mean, they look like them. They yeah, look the like likenesses them. are good. Yeah. yeah. How did Corey Feldman get so weird? I think he was just <laughs> he was always a child weird. star. Yeah, you got. Look at how many stuff. child stars got weird. Yeah, so, that's a fucking like, rough life. Really? Man. He thinks he can sing. He thinks he can dance. Thinks he's Michael Jackson. He dresses like Michael Jackson now. It's weird. He's fucking oh, it weird. looks like they have a shit ton more pictures if you go like on Entertainment Earth. <laughs> so uh, they're posable? Uh, it says five points. Oh, okay, assortment five set of points. five. Yeah, that's they shit. come in. They, so they come in separate um, boxes. That's a hundred dollars for all of them. So uh, I can get behind this. Baby, baby, boot. Oh, come with some <laughs> accessories and whatnot. You guys can look them up. We're not going to show them to you. <laughs> oh, put a little sexy in it. Yeah, yep. I figured Steve would like this one. Some toe articulation. McFarland toys uh, spawn and Todd McFarland together. How fucking narcissistic are you? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Enough for I, Steve. I, I love, love how he's got his lanyard on. <laughs> yes. Is he bow legged? I wonder if he's bow legged in real life. <laughs> <laughs> that's awfully bow-legged on that figure. Yeah. Maybe he's just got giant balls. Maybe he rides motorcycles a lot. <laughs> Sucks. What is he at? Why does he have a fucking wrestling microphone yeah. or a news reporter microphone? <laughs> I don't know anything about the guy other than apparently he, he wears <laughs> he doesn't wear uh shoes and socks around the studio because they threw in those bare feet to oh. To, uh, well, why would he have a microphone? Does he have like a show? I don't know. I know he like mm-hmm. I've seen him do like drawing tutorials and stuff, but he never has a microphone. Pirate Spawn. Where's the what? chains? What is this? Spawn. That's Spawn. His character he created. And Todd McFarley as the creator. 
So the other figure is the guy who actually drew Spawn. The funny part is like, okay, so they've made Stan Lee, of figures. course, also interviewed sure, Spawn yeah. at one point. <laughs> he interviewed Spawn. I don't think Stan Lee made his own Stan Lee figure. I no, think. somebody made a figure. Yeah, Stan they're right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we didn't we didn't make our own tribute figures to sell them. The Four Horsemen made tribute figures of us. Yes. but we didn't make them. That's different. Yes, and they didn't look anything like us. So. So he's like interviewing Spawn. I, I wonder if that's from a that. comic book where he drew himself interviewing Spawn or something. Oh, okay. Could be. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I wonder why Spawn looks so different. He's no chains. He's got those swashbuckling boots. Kind of looks like a pirate Spawn. And <laughs> this. What the fuck? I found a picture of the a Dennis Nedry figure. <laughs> and this is like a legit release. And these look super jacked. Who so the I just fuck's thought that Dennis was... Nedry? Oh, from Jurassic Park. It's <laughs> Newman. Yeah. He was Newman. Just the head looks like. Why does he look like that? <laughs> he, didn't look like, he didn't look like that in Jurassic Park. Not at all. No, he, he was like a Hawaiian shirt. God, if I ever do get like muscular and jacked again, that's what again, you're gonna look like. I swear my like head. A I hope my head doesn't stay exactly the same. You're gonna look like a fucking tootsie pop. So it's a. <laughs> it's called the Jurassic World Dennis Nedry '93 Classic Collection Track and Chase Pack, and that's just his figure, and he's jacked. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't look anything like that. He looks the exact same in everything that he does. He literally plays a fat mailman everywhere. See, they have other figures of him where he's, well, not as fat, but he's fat. Like that. Uh, but uh, no, this is the, the Jurassic World 93 classic collection. Yeah, that's all, that, that, that's <laughs> that an, great. That's an easy pass for me. <laughs> I kind of want it just because he's fucking it's ridiculous. Uh we got some so there's some origins figures coming this year. Of course, they're yeah. not in the store anymore. They're all online. Uh um, oh, they're not pegging them anymore, huh? Not these ones. Uh uh. These ones don't get pegged. Um Rock On just uh was released the other day. Actually, I, I got him. Um we have Cyclone, which it was literally like Friday. I think they put him up for sale. Um, then they've shown Night, Night Stalker. Stalker, which we haven't seen yet. Um, Extendar. Looks Whoa. kind of like, a, like an ape right there. His arms are extended, but the rest of them isn't. Yeah. I wonder what. That's and then Geldor. Oh, Geldor. Yeah, they're doing him in. White Mr. T. Or just, yeah, pretty much. I think he's actually a, a black man. But he's just of the lighter shade. Really? Yeah. Oh, white. I, when you said white, I for some reason. Oh, he's got it. the white. Hair. I looked at his. Oh hair. no, I'm sorry. I meant Caucasian. No, he's a, like he's a he's a he's a black guy. He, yeah. Well, he always has been. Yeah. Oh, that is not a great representation of that. Then and I agree. Demo Man. Oh yeah, Demo Man. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> he came out in classics, and I knew that. Now they're putting him back out. In what do you? And he comes with a he skeleton. based head. on a Mark Taylor sketch yeah he was essentially the origin of skeletor so, somehow that somewhere. turned into skeletor yeah at some point so or eternia that's the site i took the picture from <laughs> um and then we also saw like a new horde trooper there mm. cool, interesting which i've always thought were kind of fun horde troopers are cool you yeah, know cool look and they they've been um you know doing different variations of them lately too which is fun different colors and I like that. I still see no uh, fearless photog yet, though. They're showing all these characters, and that one definitely needs to be made. This is interesting, though. He does the the Masterverse uh, uh, Horde Trooper here. It comes with like a alien looking like head. And as far as I've known, they've always been robots. Yeah, robots. They were robots, but um, how was somebody's head supposed to fit in here? These are supposed to be suits. I know He Man put the suit better. on. He man in, in 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 sort of secret of the sword. He put a, a suit on. Well, yeah, but that was someone. Oh, Jesus, go back to fucking diabetes. <laughs> that was someone like taking the armor and putting it on. Yeah, but shouldn't it have been full of wires and shit? Did he man clean it out? That, that would be time? logic, and this was a cartoon. Uh... <laughs> or maybe he just found the shell somewhere. No, he didn't. He attacked the guy. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, there's a head. I don't know if that's something that's been shown before or not because I don't know things. Maybe it's a commander that's leading the robots. He's a real guy and he's just wearing the armor. Brilliant. I love it. I'm Maybe sure... Hordak can't even see very good. Yeah, maybe. 
So I don't know, kind of fun. Uh, we got the cartoon collection, Adam and Cringer. That's interesting. I like that Cringer. Now that's a proper Cringer, Cringer, and I like it. I think so too. I like him. He's a little smaller than the old Battle Cat. Uh, of course, I don't know if they're gonna. Act, I guess they'd have to put out a classic cartoon collection Battle Cat too now. It's just yeah, another, what other choice? Another have. fucking battle cat. <laughs> um, looks good. You getting it? Oh yeah, I'll get that. I would like that eventually. You get both figures, or is that him just putting put next to the? No, no, just seen pictures. All right. If they said stuff, I, they had some Mattel creation stuff, and people watch the videos. I did not. Okay. So I just took. All right. Yeah. Um, Android Krang, letting you know there's low stock on this big bad boy. Eighty-five dollars for this How beautiful big? eleven inches. How many centimeters is that? Uh, yep. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Uh, we can probably text Travis. And... <laughs> <laughs> Travis is good with math. Yeah. Conversion rates. It's kind of his thing. Uh, <clears throat> this is their way of somehow getting away with it because he's got the take off the plate on the front of him deal, which the vintage figure never had. Somehow, if they do this. I guess they can make them. I don't. There's some weird rights things licensing going shit. On. Yeah, um, dude, not, pretty cool. Nickelodeon just made me think of that documentary that's out of that guy from Head of the Class that was messing around. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently that that documentary is fucking brutal. I saw one episode of it. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen it yet. It seems pretty good. I mean, a good documentary, right? <laughs> now, <Not> a- <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um i didn't i guess i didn't take the pictures but their uh playmates is going to be throwing out some like origins type um ninja turtle figures as well they're not called origins but um they're essentially putting out the old molds with um much more articulation i think that guy looks freaking great i saw somebody did a um it's a like an indie toy company. They did like a 33 inch version of this. It's All right. fucking beautiful. Super Cyborg Crane. Buy it before he's gone. There you go. Whoa. Next. What is this? This is That's the Legend expensive. of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Figma number 626-DX Link Deluxe Edition. Uh, there's two different versions of this figure. One comes with a whole bunch of extra shit and one does not. But they are both from Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I think I have to have this guy. You better in get collection. it for 150 bucks, though. <laughs> but the that doesn't like you. The other version is like 70 or 80 or something like that. Okay, so the without all the stuff. Well, so, what are you missing out on, though? Well, that I'm gonna show you. Slow, okay, good. Slow you gotta have here would move it along. You gotta have the Hillian shield and the master sword. That oh, goes... those will both come with him. Yeah, there, there's a picture at the end here that shows, but like this one, the oh, the, the thing glider that's the actually glider. cool. Um. Get, oh, yeah, that's pretty shield. cool. <laughs> that's fucking awesome, dude. You can oh, uh, make him halfway heck? apart, make him look like he's coming uh, into yeah, the coming through the floor. <gasps> damn, damn. Got a sword fused with a rock. I don't, I don't wanna... think it's a sword; it's just a rock on a stick. But so, well, no. no in the game, you can actually like fuse crap onto your swords and like oh. different spears and weapons and shit. Yeah, the game. So yeah, cool. it might just be a stick. It looks expensive. I kind of want it, but that's expensive. It is pricey. Six inch shish is it? Yeah, around there, yeah. Well, there's all the accessories that come with this version. Two different shields. And... Bare arm. Look at that. Yep. I think it looks great. I think it, it does look good. It looks very poseable. Um, I have the Skyward Sword. Ooh, version, look at that. And he's beautiful. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Uh, damn. Where do you get it from? Can you get it now? Uh, you can pre-order it from Big Bad right now. Shit. Shit balls. <laughs> Shit Dang. all the balls. Yeah. He's beautiful. Look at his little mm-hmm. hair tie. And his little They're going to make other ones? Uh, I've seen a Ganon prototype. So I would say yes. And that Ganon is going to be goddamn beautiful. Look at that. It's just wonderful. Different angles. I had to look yeah. every picture. Yeah, here's all the same pictures we've seen with a different background. <laughs> a different background. I had to. It's fucking beautiful. And I knew Steve would like it. <laughs> yep. Quiver's awful low. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's where it hangs. It's going to stink like toots. 
I got shot with a spank arrow. Wow, I really like the pose. I got an arrow wound and an infection from the fecal matter on that arrow. <laughs> yep. Different face plates. See, this is, oh, look at all that yeah, shit. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I don't like it. Yep. So $80 for the um, other version, the not deluxe version. And here's all the same pictures from before, just missing some assessment. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's the right there you get a couple face plates and you know a sword a shield and hands and <laughs> this cape thing cool. which to me is like enough because i don't see myself doing a fuck ton of like poses and all that and doing like the rocket thing or whatever but uh it would be cool to do that so we'll see what happens uh movie or no music maniacs going out for toys. we got an ozzy figure coming out horrible for 26 bucks um looks to be rather older ozzy not quite old old ozzy but uh, <laughs> he's got a cane and he's got a clockwork he orange does. hat yep and he's got bat wings oh of course he does because <laughs> when he chewed on the bat he mutated into bat uh, batty bozzy batty uh, I, I got nothing anyway he looks stupid <laughs> Who's making this shit? <laughs> this is McFarland. Uh, he looks okay. I mean, I'm, it I looks okay. But it's limited edition, only seventy five hundred pieces. It's it's definitely a twenty five dollar figure. So uh, then we have also Alice Cooper six inch figure. Uh, it's a good likeness. Same mic, same stand. Probably <laughs> the same legs. Probably the same buck with a different head. Yeah. Cool hat. He's got a snake. Does have a snake? I think Alice Cooper's cooler than Ozzy. Do you? I think he's probably more talented. <laughs> Ozzy never wrote a song. He never wrote a lyric. But he sang them all poorly. <laughs> right, exactly. And they had to beg him to do that. <laughs> but somehow Alice Cooper he owned everything. Alice Cooper was in Wayne's World. Awesome. That's true. <sighs> Mealy Wake. <laughs> Mealy Wake. What's this? <laughs> what is that? I <laughs> that's my thing. That was all the toy stuff I brought. I'm sure there was plenty more, but let's move on <laughs> to uh, the reason why you uh, we started late today. Actually, you know what? We have a top ten for that of why oh, we started late today. Okay, uh, and we got some contributions from the listeners. So let's um, let's get started here. So uh, the top ten reasons that Stephen was late this morning. Um, I did advise everybody on Facebook Live that you were going to be late. I didn't tell you them why. Um, so this is my, this is a few of mine. Um, his dog was playing fetch with his morning wood. Um, he woke up his daughters to body shame them. Uh, he was introducing Porker to a new girl because he's too good for Katie. He was reviewing Claire's dance recital footage from last night and critiquing her. He was wearing, uh, he was white glove inspecting the kitchen after Courtney cleaned it. Um, and let's see what the listeners had to say. So, um, uh, Trevor Williams, uh, said Courtney slept in and Steve refuses to make his own coffee. <laughs> uh, Curtis Ackerman, um, Steven is running late because Cody wouldn't sit on the handlebars of his motorcycle. So he had to go back and get the van. <laughs> uh, Jesse Arnold, Steven is late because he was trying to do something to save time and it backfired and made a lot more work. Hypothetical example moving a rack full of painted heads and dropping them instead of packing them up and putting them back on the rack. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a shout out to uh, my Saturday morning uh, from Mesquite Mesquite Con. Con. Yes. Um, Maverick says uh, Steve couldn't find a toilet round enough for his fat <laughs> ass. So now he's got to find an American girl doll store to drop a log. A yeah, trip. there are no logs when you're on Metformin. <laughs> I threw my own <laughs> I'm back to solid. <laughs> Steve Obeg said he had an impure thought about Courtney and had to go to confession. He had an impure thought about the dog and had to go behind a tree for a minute. <laughs> Steve, oh, I love that gig. Uh, Ernest Vega. Uh, Steve got his finger caught in a Pringles can during breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> that's just oh. mean. <laughs> finger. And then just my wife, well, my wife said in the past, but that's not. I think my fingers are looking slender. Oh. Um, uh, Anthony House Seal, uh, not, he was not yet. He was trying to recreate his. But I'm not with him every day, so. Uh, Anthony House Seal, he was trying to recreate his favorite wrestler's finishing move, 
the stone cold stunner. And when he landed on his ass, he gave himself a concussion because that's where his brain has been as of late. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, and last but not least, Mike Smith, uh, I envisioned that he ordered a new hot toy, but his mom's credit card got declined, so he had to run to Meyer to get a money order to pay down mom's card. <laughs> That's going way back into the bowels of my wife is going to kill me history. So, yeah, thank you guys for participating in that. So, I'm still hovering at 127. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. They're all wrong, though. They're all wrong, though. Just, just I'm, I'm tracking right with you, buddy. Nice. Maybe our maybe it's like our menstruation. Maybe our monitors are syncing up. <laughs> right, they sync. Yep. <laughs> yep. Maybe I need to get one of those yep. things. Um. Yeah. So I just I uh I had a I had a breakdown this morning with my with my with my van. That's why I was late. Just what what broke? <laughs> um. Well, its ability. To... I just I was driving in. It just <laughs> it just quit. And I coasted, At the end I, of my driveway. It coasted to co I coasted to Cody's house. We had to push it a little bit. Which like is, that's Cody's driveway, the, the crushed asphalt that you see there in the lower left corner so of the you pulling coasting in. That's me. No, that's me stopped. Say oh. and talking to Cody, be like, ah, van just quit. We need to push it. Uh, I just sent you a couple of photos of Steven repairing it this morning. Yep. Repair <laughs> well in the Facebook Messenger. So you got out, diagnosed the issue, and because you're a man's man, right? The example. So we fixed it ourselves. You fixed it right fixed there, it. right there in the driveway. Yep. So we pushed this into my yard, took my car to uh, Steve's house to get a, get a few tools. <laughs> Here we are getting. <laughs> That's the tool. There is holding the gas can. <laughs> so. <laughs> What did you do to piss off Courtney to where you always drive the van now? How come you never get to drive your Jeep anymore? <laughs> well, every time she drives the van, she has a complaint. She hears a noise. She tells me there's a light on. She does, the, you know, she's just, the van's old. Okay. The van oh, is, you, you bought it from a pretty shady dealership. I bought too. it from a shady, you shady know. car salesman. Like you can't trust those Mexicans in Holland and uh or Zealand or wherever the hell it is. And I, it's got over 200,000 miles on it, you know. Does it really? Like, yeah, the things the thing's badass. Has shitty yeah. tires on it. I don't want to replace them. It's old. It just keeps starting every day, though. Just All run right? it till it's dead. And then sometimes it stops for unknown reasons. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> but luckily you got the tools to fix it. And I just, you know, every day it would be like, oh, this doesn't work. There's a squeak. There's a noise. There's a this. There's a that. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have any problems when I drive it. So I'm like, here, just take the Jeep. And since now Courtney has a new job and she's not a traveling uh, uh, social worker and she's only in one spot, the Jeep drives to work and stays parked. <laughs> she used to drive around all day. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, why would I? And I drive around all day now. Because I drive back and forth to different places at work. I go to, you know, I have a shop. I have two offices, two different locations. I'm going back and forth all the time. So I'm putting more miles on vehicles. So I would rather put miles on the shitty van than the Jeep. So there we go. There you go. Ran out of gas. Ran out of gas. Ran out of gas. Whose fault was that? Oh, that was my fault. <laughs> um, But uh, I thought I could make it. I mean... The gas station is right up the road. I thought I could make it to the gas station. So, you know that tiny little gas can that we just saw? Yeah. Um, two gallons. It's a two-gallon gas can. Yeah. He didn't add any more to it. <laughs> We're still on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the van gets 17 miles an hour. I should be able to theoretically go yeah, miles 34 miles. And Travis is not 34 miles from a house. We're good. The example. All right. What's yeah. next? No toy fun. drama? Do we have any? I got a little bit. You got some toy drama, huh? So it's not. Wait, I think. <coughs> um, you got something? Yeah, I think so. One second. Okay. Ooh, Cody All right. This is exciting. Don't know what's going on here. This is, this is new to me. Oh. Oh, just. Um, on me. So Curtis Ackerman. Yeah. Um, 
has a custom that I, he wanted to show. Okay. Um, let me pull it up Curtis one second. Ackerman's, the Curtis Ackerman custom showing show. Well, yeah. hold on. Don't show it till he super chats. Okay. Yeah, we'll make sure he's here, I guess. No, he is here. <laughs> he messaged me and said that he sent something to you. Yeah. Um, it's called Lord Bushati Midlife Crisis. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's pretty oh. good that's pretty good i mean i don't know where the other half of steve is but wow where'd you get that motorcycle that's pretty sweet that is a pretty sweet motorcycle oh, wow. your, your bike is sweet you got a nice looking bike steve i don't know if we've updated the fans on that i don't even know if they know i actually pulled the trigger i didn't look at this one what does that say? Wolf, Wolf King, King Customs. Customs. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Yeah, man. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a motorcycle list. Pretty cool. Well, good for you, buddy. Uh, I sent you a picture, Cody. Of Yeah. A uh, part of my midlife crisis. No. <laughs> and then I sent you a meme as well. <laughs> oh, where'd you, where'd you get that from? My wife? Mm -mm. Uh, Curtis, I believe. Oh, Curtis. Oh. Well, that makes sense. I just sent you one more too, Cody. Here's a... <laughs> I sent you... Steve finally answered the age-old question. Yes, motorcycles can feel pain. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> This was last weekend. Super chat. Uh, Curtis even tried to get his copycat tattoo. I... Mm. I'm going to get a Cody cat tattoo. <laughs> and a copycat tattoo. Right on my tuchus. <laughs> right on my helmet. Right. Yeah, That's so got to hurt like hell. <laughs> <laughs> he even got an Indian oh, motorcycle. There is a tattoo it? on there. Oh, oh there he is. No shit. Look at that. Look That's at that. hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. You guys are nuts, man. I wonder where Curtis got that motorcycle. I don't know, but it's it's badass. It's an old run. It's an old like it's it's an Indian, I think. I mean, I can't yeah. read it. That's yeah, that old. Yeah. Indian, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Diabetes, I can't see. <laughs> yeah. He beat bad eyesight too. That's why he was getting dizzy driving the other day. He couldn't see where he was going. <laughs> right. he threw my glasses away. Fuck you, optometrist. You just go with the. Um... Oh, okay. There's, there's, there's the, there's the beauty. You Look at that. You definitely got to black those pipes, though, Steve. Uh, uh in good time. I, I... This is real. You bought this? Yeah, yeah. that's actually his motorcycle. <laughs> you thought he had a motorcycle. Where do you think the motorcycle? You're taking this joke a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> He was really having a midlife crisis. What? Well, I figure I'm going to either lose a leg from diabetes or ride a motorcycle. But you beat diabetes. How are you going to beat amputation? This is before. This is before I beat diabetes. I thought things were grim. Why couldn't you just get your nose pierced like a normal fucking midlife crisis? <laughs> right? Dang. Oh, that's cool. That's a pretty cool motorcycle, ain't it? Mm -hmm. How many miles you put on it since you got it? Oh, not many. Because I've only had we've only had like one nice day since I bought it. And that was that day. Look at the fucking, look at this shadow of Steve's fucking meat. <laughs> I mean, you look at how big his fucking arm is, even in the shadow. Beautiful. Very That's nice. a nice looking ride, man. All right, so, moving on. <laughs> the toy drama. Uh, do you want to go over any of these, Jeremy? Uh, just that second picture is fine. Like, So I haven't watched... All I, I started to watch X Men ninety seven, but I, I ain't farting on I ain't farting on a snare drum. I made, I made it through like one episode, so everybody else is talking about this. Uh, Who is that? That's Gambit. Gambit. He's got a crop top, right? Yeah, ninety seven. Right? Is that is that what a crop top is? Crop top is well, yes. it's a okay. half shirt, is what yeah. we would call it. Half shirt, crop top. So there's this guy who made a post, and it said, and you can go to the next picture, and it'll give, there give you an example um of people with crop tops 
Uh, this says, people mad that Gambit wore a crop top in the X-Men 97? Are you forgetting the series takes place in the 90s? For some reason, guys wanted to wear crop tops back then. Using an example, of course, of Johnny Depp from like 1984. But... <laughs> Uh, well, in, in Air, your airheads is early nineties, right? Sure, and and, and, Will and Smith. of course Will Smith, right? Early nineties, but he fucking smacks bitches but this now. This is ninety seven. Right? God, I don't even remember being popular in the early nineties. So I do remember, like, I had one dude in high school who was our friend, and we mocked him relentlessly, especially in ninety seven, because he's wearing a fucking crop top, <laughs> and that was an eighties hairband thing to do, <laughs> not a fucking nineties cool guy thing to do. So. I make the comment on this post. Yeah, by 97, crop tops were out. I did have a buddy who still wore them, though. He got made fun of relentlessly. Real quick. Curtis, did you buy that motorcycle off from eBay specifically to make fun of Steven? <laughs> because that would make my fucking day. Of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> of course he did. I'm sorry. So you posted a comment and said made fun of crop toppers in 97. That's awesome. Uh, and and uh, now I'm starting to wonder: Was I wrong? Were crop tops still popular? Because crop, they sure were no, not, not in '97. Crop, crop tops were not popular in my time of popularity. That and that's what I thought. Now some people are uh, like Nicholas Bond here says, "Yes, but Gambit, ever the man with extreme tastes, who rocked a hot pink breastplate, didn't get much flack for it then. Gambit wearing a crop top even after the fashion was out of, was out would be 100 percent his style." All right, fair, whatever. And the, the crop top, if you want a crop top, it better be mesh. It, but now you know Matthew I mean? Bell says, every football player in my high school is wearing crop tops as the unofficial off-field uniform. It didn't fall out till wrestlers and WWF switched to sleeveless shirts from crops around 1999. No, no I don't believe you. No, every they wore, jock was still running with it no, in 97. They wore crop tops because they were, they wore, so they had something underneath their pads. To and it helps stay cool. Your pads are all up here. They wore those crop tops to protect the pads from rubbing against their bare skin, and they hit a jersey. Like that's not a no. They they weren't wearing that down. They're no. We're not fucking tweeter from Varsity Blues. No, nope. I don't want your lie, <laughs> dude. By 90, 90, 97, we were into the grunge phase. We we, we were, were we were all we were almost out. We were out of the grunge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like exactly. Jenko right. jeans and oh, like, dude, I fucking. <laughs> I fucking, I'm fucking, I could drop a fucking laptop in my fucking ruse back in the Everything day. Everything was huge at that point. It yeah. was just super baggy stuff that was popular. Now, if you weren't into the trends or whatever, then we're not all Marky Mark or his funky bunch. Yeah. And even the, like the, the quote unquote preppy type people, they weren't wearing crop tops. No one wore crop tops. Crop top was crop tops. And uh, again, when I say, when I say in my time of popularity, I don't mean when I was popular from what I remember, a pop, like crop tops were never a popular, they were never a thing in my recollection. Crop tops were worn by athletes for specific reasons, you know, practice shirts yeah, and that yeah. kind of shit. You know what I mean? I'm five years older than Pete, and I never have worn a crop top. Ever. No. And I used to be thin, so don't say it was because I was fat. <laughs> Normal shirts look like. <laughs> <laughs> so a regular 3X is a crop yeah, top. I wear, yeah. I wear more of a crop top now than I'm overweight than I ever did as a when, I was, when I was young. But um, my brother, who is eight years older than me, there are pictures of him. Crop top in it? With a half shirt. Right. Yes. But that puts him at... That, that puts... That puts him at like 87, right. 1987 ish, or well, and he and Jeremy made the hairband reference too, and that's that's true. That's <laughs> the thing you know to me. I mean? That was an yeah. 80s hairband thing, so um, you get people making comments. Ernest Vega, we're still talking about crop tops, yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, yeah, we are. important. <laughs> Super chat. I bought a one twelfth off Amazon that was too that was too small, so I had to get a one tenth scale one on eBay with expedited shipping to get it done for today's show. <laughs> I, I would, dude, Curtis, if I had That's your money, awesome. I'd burn mine. <laughs> Good job, Curtis. Yeah, that was super cool. Funny. So yeah, anyway, it, it I don't have to go into all these, but it, it actually got personal. People are like ripping on me because I've made this comment. Like you are so fucking wrong. One guy said, "Sounds like he deserved better friends." I the remember I making fun of half shirts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I my high school era was ninety three to ninety seven. That's right in the meat of all of this. Yeah, mine was ninety nine to 02. <clears throat> and I, dude, if so, if one of my if one of my buddies showed up to school in a crop top, 
I would have been all over that shit. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I would have been all over that shit. Absolutely. Yeah. I got a diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. So I just figured, and yeah, it went off. People that got personal with me, like, you are fucking wrong. That was so popular and oh still God. is. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> like it doesn't fucking matter. But... I just looked it up. It said 80s and uh, like early 90s. Yeah. Early 90s. Yeah. 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 So if people were wearing them past that, and I, you know, I said, well, not in the armpit of Michigan where I live, man. Nobody wore them shits, but people got fucking personal with me about it. So I just wondered if I was the weirdo here. You know, you say the armpit of Michigan, but there was an awful lot of people at Muskegon that are kind of impressed with this area. They'd say, this is really cool. This place is, you know. Oh, oh yeah. But I mean, downtown that, and everything. I, you know, I'm basing it on where I grew up. Well, I know this is this this version of Muskegon, of Muskegon is not the Muskegon I grew up in, uh, especially in the summer. I mean, this place yeah. is awesome. Yeah. But I mean, did you see? Mm, no, that's fine. I'm just going to continue. No. OK. <laughs> I don't want people to get upset with me. So what people are you worried about getting upset? The people that were gross. There were gross people at the con. Well, there were yeah. people walking around that were gross. Of course, there's always gross people at Kyle. They don't wash and they don't like, and they're, and you know, I understand that some people have like teeth things, issues or whatever, but like some people you can just tell that they just didn't care enough to, well, and, and teeth are a big thing for me. And like, no judge, I'm judging. I ain't, I'm judging. I did it. Just rip me apart. <laughs> rip me apart like the crop top people. How did we get from crop top to smelly condors and teeth? Because uh, I was talking about the armpit of Michigan, and oh, he said, "Yeah, anyway, yeah." I he said people simply, were were impressed by. Simply said, I got a lot of compliments Muskegon. from Muskegon. people who traveled. Yeah, saying how nice our downtown is, yeah. and people who saw it did not used to be. And... <laughs> things like that. Cool. Anyway, and <laughs> Angie wants to know if you guys have worn your socks yet. No, we need to get a picture with we us doing picture. the socks. <laughs> My wife was like, you need to put one on your dick and send it to the guys. I, was like, I absolutely do. <laughs> put it on all our dicks and have okay. <laughs> red hot chili pepper style. Our dicks could never get close enough to each other. To that is true. Because they're not long We might be able to do nipples or something. Our bellies would touch. Yeah. Then we'd be like. Stuff it in our belly button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Travis can't play then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why he doesn't wear crop tops. Because uh, he's embarrassed by his lack of belly button. Okay. Right, moving on. What now? Where are we at? What is that? Thanks, UPS guy. Is that Mario? You got something? I do. I got some stuff. Show it. All right. We don't ever get to see you show stuff. Yeah. So uh, I got a couple things. Uh, I, I showed this awesome cape from Darla Ackerman, um, which is super cool. And that was uh, yeah. She does a really great job on these capes. She so. really does. So, um, I really have nice. one on one of my figures. I don't remember which one. I got a new style glossy of D twenty die. Ooh. But this is a D twenty spinner. It's a spinner. Spin that motherfucker, Jeremy. Wow. Honey, can I spin it on this? Why not? Why not? All right. Oh, it makes it cool. So how do you know what you spun? <laughs> Whatever it lands on. So, once it's done spinning, that was a good one. Spin that spins for days. That's gonna go forever. Whoa, that is incredibly whoa, well balanced. That thing is going like freaking uh -huh. amazing. It's never gonna quit. <laughs> it's a chain reaction. That's amazing. Go. Well, it triples our game length. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is crazy because we already played for eight hours. Yeah. So, and, and then when it, it comes to a rest, on, on the bottom or the top. Oh, right See at the, the bottom the, the there. Bottom there? So it'd be a one. It'd be a one. So you just been an amazing spin and rolled a critical fail. So oh, well, yep. Um, so got that down the uh, down the old Tennessee. Spin it again. Um, and this, so these are uh, some metal. Uh, it's a metal oh, polyhedral set, seven die. So go. this is the D twenty, and you can see it's got kind of like rune style numbers on it. Okay. And uh, super cool. The front and back of this one. Pretty cool. All right, we'll get room style. And <coughs> a little, a little, a little pack of die. These little guys. You got little when fellers. You, but you just got to do a little damage. Just <laughs> a little just, bit of damage. You just want to do a little bit. Hey guys, I'm so, gonna do a little bit of damage. Those are fun. 
So yeah. Look at that. Um I want to eat these like candy. Yeah, don't don't eat those, please. <laughs> so um so I actually got an amazing custom from Maverick. Uh Ooh. at this point he's given it to me because I haven't PayPal them yet. So I didn't buy it from him yet. So I just Perfect. own it. So um and I probably should do that. So um this is very cool. Um try to get that on the thing there. So uh actually uh has uh the Alithia logo painted on his back as well, which is super cool. Um but yeah, so great job, Maverick. That was one that he had that I actually had wanted long before Mesquicon. And Mesquicon was one where we just were able to hook up and I was able to get it. So um what was that? Uh and last but not um, least, I was able to get my hands on a Frank Lira custom. And uh I absolutely amazed. Uh, like I said, I talked about his talent earlier and uh so this amazing skeleton warrior uh that he did that now I own. Wow. And super proud to have that in my collection. So uh, full skeleton torso, um big badass shield, just an amazing figure. And uh I was I'm so thankful for Frank that he hooked me up. So you see did a fucking absolute wow. absolutely amazing job. That is. Yep. He Who crushed knew? it. So a couple of great customs, Check Maverick and Frank. And then some dice. Who knew? Some oh. talented folks. Talented nice. folks. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen that torso before. I couldn't say that I had either. It's a Wolf King head, but I don't know where the to torso comes from. It's pretty cool. I dig. Yeah. Good job, so, Frank. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any toys. But in Pete fashion, I thought, you know, I wasn't really going to talk about my motorcycle, but until now, because I just wanted to show off these sweet motorcycle gloves I got now. See? They're like, knock the thing. Bims is jack off gloves. Grab my dick. Pretty badass. Let me see. What? Let me grab your dick. Yeah, grab my dick. So what's that feel like? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Just wanted everybody to know I'm smooth. I'm buying my gear. I'm taking, you know, safety. Kind of looks like the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. You should actually, like, glue some stones on there. Yeah. So I didn't get anything Sparkle. really toy related. that on your hands. <laughs> they look a little, real. a little tight. I'm like, don't these? Are, they're, they're perfect. You got a helmet, too? Yeah. You, uh, are you wearing it? Yeah. Well, I, you don't have to. Yeah. So. Oh, no. I, I, I'm i wearing that shit. Save that brand. Too much up here that I got to keep going on. Mm -hmm. No, um, I got um, I didn't really get anything from a ski con except I did buy one figure, mythically the the new uh, what's his name, the blue Hagnon and the other guy. Can't think of his name right now. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. But we've already looked at it on the show. Oh, right here, this guy. I picked this up. So, yeah, we've already talked about him on the show, so I really don't have anything. Great show, but uh, I owe Travis money, so I didn't buy anything. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I There was a lot of stuff that I saw. I didn't get a chance to do much shopping at all. There was quite a few things I wanted, but... Oh, there was great stuff oh. there. I can show you my Mesquicon finds. Ooh, so... look at those! First found, and found those in the dumpster out back. <laughs> yeah. Ta -da! Vintage, uh, probably 89. Dog toys. <laughs> Dog toys. <laughs> <laughs> Mario and Luigi. Uh, these were definitely at uh, like Michigan's Adventure and shit like that. They were carnival figures as far as I knew anyway. So I got them both for 10 bucks. That's pretty cool. They're 10 bucks each? No, together. Oh, wow. Yeah, five each. So. Very nice and that's guy. the kind of vendor oh. that wants to do a two-day show. And I go, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> He's got a wiener. He's got a wiener. <laughs> a wiener. All right. Um, uh, also, 
and I haven't tried it out, and I don't know if I'm gonna. We'll see. Ooh, one uh, thing Brown, Schumer says you don't need a helmet because he bets you could be, 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 beat brain damage <laughs> in less than a week. That's so this is uh, That's Robocop. Yep, this is the Ed 209 from, it might have had a different name in the cartoon, but it's the Ed 209. Um, Cody Brown had it for a pretty good price. He hooked me up. Um, I absolutely love these fucking things, so I had to get this guy. And he does, he like gave me some caps too. What? I just don't know if like, if he works or not. Got it. So, I, it's taped shut. Oh. Really hard. They're paper caps. Yeah, Roll paper caps. caps. Those yep. are always weird. I always like the circle ones that are in the plastic. Yeah, well, like the one that uh Thunder Punch He-Man had. They smell good too. <laughs> These I think smell good as well. I don't. We uh while you're while you're doing that, speaking of things, UBS guy and uh in Toy News, um you guys remember I was kind of bummed out the uh nine to five warriors, all the different little desk item warriors yeah, that yeah. were a big bad toy store. Yeah. Um they didn't they there wasn't enough interest so they got canceled yeah so i'm what i what i did last year is i actually created just a little toy account so like on my big bad toy store it's my toy card that's locked in there um and i haven't bought anything because I, I i haven't bought any of the turtles recently so there was no money in my toy account all, right. all of a sudden i get an email last week from big bad toy store saying that my order has been canceled due to non-payment well yeah there's no money there because i didn't have anything on order and it was those nine to five warriors so apparently they actually did go into production and I never, and I didn't realize it. So now I got to throw some money over there and get my nine to five warriors. Coming. Yeah, buddy. So, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. I'm super excited. <laughs> They're cool. Yeah. Okay. So I'm opening them up. I'm not sure how these actually fit in there. I don't know if they just go here. So it'll be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, let's see if it works. <clears throat> so, and then we got like the little, Oh, it works. I saw a flame. That was cool. <laughs> Do it again. It, it shot the, the whole the thing whole, out. I, I think maybe I'm supposed to put it in through. I don't know. That was awesome. That sparked like a motherfucker. It works. <laughs> it's alive. Toys were so cool back in the day. Yeah. Wow, we I do love that smell. It does smell good, doesn't it? Okay, Heidi's gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, right. They're smoking cigars. No, we're playing with RoboCop. Yeah, I'm not sure where it's supposed to sit, but uh, we can try again. It'd be cool. So if it if it if it would self feed, but yeah, it's you think it would just bang, bang. it probably does. I'm just putting it in wrong or something. But we're gonna try one more time. One more time, I said. Misfire. When misfire. Uh. <laughs> Miss oh, fire. Now it's falling apart. I broke it. Son of a bitch. Broom shot. Can you fly, Bobby? All right, we're gonna try it one more time. All right, you settle down. It's fella. Johnny, isn't it? Can you fly? Do you fly, Johnny? No. Oh, oh it did man. it? It did. It did pop a little bit, but it didn't shoot off in the sky like first, <laughs> like the first one, which was not supposed to happen. First so. time was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. But anyway, uh, there you go. Well, do you have to rip it off though? Then you get like a new. I it's I think it's supposed to just feed. You I'm... probably have to. The roll probably goes inside there, and then it probably feeds up through the top as they pop. Oh, that's would a good. Be idea. My, yeah, would yeah. be my guess. I learned that at hydrant school. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Looks kind of. Yeah. It's kind of funky. If you can figure it out, yeah, go for it. There it is. There it is. Um. Okay, and what else did Jeremy get? You wonder. Oh, oh, I'll go quickly Jeremy. through the amazing ones. I got a Waluigi. What he's little and cool. <laughs> he's fun. There's it's butt. just an immovable little guy. Oh, no, he's totally posable. Totally posable. We're talking what 38 <laughs> points or what <laughs> 30 POA? <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. That's hot. This is a mesquite confined. find? No, I got him from the store. Oh, that's current. Yes. Let me see that. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. You know what? I did get another mesquite kind of thing. It is a little Dusty bit. Dusty hooked me up with the uh, the Stratos um, uh, uh, Legions figure. I did not bring that, though. Uh, but I did get this from Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> which is a garbage pail kids 
a uh, retail ice cream trailer with ice cream sandy on it. Did you figure it out? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is great, Malcolm. But <laughs> Pete figured out the Ed two hundred nine. Okay, and until he really figures it out, there's there it is again. Isn't that great? Nice. He knows me. I like it. People know me. I love it. Um. Oh yeah. Somebody got mad at me. Mad at you? Yeah. I can make people mad. So what are you got now? <laughs> I went to a booth. Oh, I think I've seen these. And uh, I haven't even taken them out yet. Let me help you out here. Thanks, fella. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely. <laughs> My God. Boom. We're dealing with McNugget buddies. But they're the Halloween ones. Thanks. So these were uh, these were McDonald's toys. Yes, they're they're McNugget from olden times. From olden times, um, I I went to a booth. The same guy I think that had the uh, Mario and Luigi, and he had these sitting there, and he gave me a good deal on them, and I grabbed them, and as soon as I picked them up, I heard a lady right behind me go, "Oh, damn it!" I knew somebody was going to grab them, but not like right before us. And she's like, oh, that sucks. I wanted those so bad. And I'm just going, <laughs> I don't even really care if I have these or not. <laughs> you should have jacked up the price. And right. offered them I to sell them to you for 20 each. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, so there you go. There. How much did you pay? Did you say? Uh, it was like 10 bucks for all three. Oh. Not bad. Well, they were they were at four a piece. So the the advancer isn't working. Okay. So, but I believe this is that it actually feeds through the hole, and then it pop 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 goes up. Okay. But, well, sweet. Somehow I'll uh, I'll never fix that. It'll just sit like this in my freaking shelf. So there you go, McNugget buddies. Woo! Oh, the the McNugget buddies commercials. Uh, that might be my. Favorite Halloween commercial, Jesse. So, um, and then I got a bunch of He-Man stuff. New Orco, New Orco. That's actually pretty neat. He comes with New Gwildor. New Gwildor. Ta-da! Those are from <coughs> the uh, Revolution series. So these are, yeah, the okay, yep. yeah. New oh, versions, pretty they, cool. Yeah, they were kind of a highlight of the um, of the Revolution series. So seeing them in action figure form like this is wonderful. <coughs> I know Pete is super excited. Pete loves it. Hey, <laughs> I, I I think the accessories with Orko is super cool, and I I like the color scheme. I don't know if that's like something that pisses people off because that's not what Orko looks like. But well, he has a reason to look like that. Yeah, they changed him. Uh, it during the show so i really like this yeah i think they're really really well done um and going with the movie theme she's at the bottom oh and the you know. cosmic key stuck between her legs <laughs> there it goes fell out uh, what is it is this movie this yeah this is masterverse movie evil in 87 movie evil in yep Meg Foster. Yeah, inspired. inspired. I was going to say, it's not quite perfect, but uh, this thing spins slow, don't it? The battery's low, or is it just been... There's two slow? settings. Is there? Let's find the faster one. Yeah, that's yeah, a little better. faster there. there. there spin that. Spin that wheel! That's interesting. It's kind of cool. It's a figure... That's that's worse than the stuff Mario. <laughs> uh, I, don't know. I think she's great. This is the Ellen DeGeneres source. Yes. We have never had a version of her yet, so it's nice to finally get her. The thing is, you get her standing like a dude. That hurts. Girls, girls don't stand with their knees turned out like the guys do. They stand with their knees turned in a little bit. Trying to protect their innocence. And they're just, it's very feminine. You gotta. Like, and yeah. Hey, I, 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 
Pretend to entertain. <laughs> looks enough like Meg, Meg Foster. Yeah, I think it's it's much better than their representation of He Man that they've released in Masterverse, the movie version. Um, I also got King Keldor. Uh, that is not the sword he comes with. That actually came with the Orko and uh, Gwildor two pack, but he just looks good with it. So I threw it on him. You pick these up from Big Bad? Spence. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, Can you scroll up on the comments. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm it's a pretty cool I'm figure. I didn't even know these were actually we like out, out. You know, like I didn't know that they were. You do, Ernest? Yeah, hit me up, buddy. <laughs> What's was, he's got pieces for those McNugget buddies <laughs> that I was missing. Uh, here's the um, the regular Keldor face, and then of course the one he's wearing. He's got the um, the crown on him. So pretty cool. He's he's a really good figure. I love that character in the show. Uh, Shatner did a wonderful job. So Shatner was amazing. There you go. Um, no, saving him for last. Oh, he fell. One of the rock. Yep. rock Ooh, rock I want to play people. with this. Rock on. Rock on, huh? Rock on. <laughs> Elvis. Huh? Yeah. 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 Hey, what, what's that funny little thing you do with your legs there? Oh, too. <laughs> Steve does a Elvis impersonation. Um. So yeah, there you go. He looks pretty much like the old one. He is kind of short, I guess, compared to the other figures, unless you like measure him all the way up to the top of his Rocky Nugget. But uh, yeah, but he's got he's got like you always got to measure the tip of the Rocky Nugget. <laughs> yes, he has to measure. He all actually way to the tip. has articulation. Uh huh. It's... But he looks like shit as a rock, doesn't he? I don't know. I haven't put him in the rock yet. <laughs> oh, we're putting him in the you know, rock right now. Let Steve break him. Um, Why does this gun pop off? comes out because it looks like it's in there pretty hard yeah um also i haven't opened my eternia yet but i did open the moat monster <laughs> modi <laughs> so there he is is this name modi it's not officially but oh. that's what people are calling him um they might as well at this point just right. call him modi <laughs> and of course that's fun that's i got a fun little sculpt and i got him and um also king gray skull in origins who is obviously black there uh, yeah, he looks like yeah, it. Ben Black. Yep. For a little while. For a little while. New version of him is so. Um, and he's a wonderful figure. He's great. And I love the blue sword. I'm I'm a simple man. You give me a blue sword and I'm just happy all around. Why? I don't know. Blue <laughs> sword is cool. It's probably because like in the vintage line, they had these like weapons packs and they were just recolorings of weapons and i love the blue sword who does it go to i couldn't give it to anybody because it wasn't official it made me fucking nuts but there now we know in now you know in the future it was going to be king grayskull and no one's half the battle and the last one <laughs> arguably Ooh. maybe the most fun out of all of them better than rock oh oh we do have rock version that's pretty cool it works it works sort of Ish. Ish. Not as simple as the vintage one, but um, and then I don't even know if I can get him to Damn. stand. <laughs> okay. Look at that. He looks huge. I can get behind Snow Spout. Uh this <laughs> this is a giant figure. Uh, <laughs> Why is he so tall? I don't know. Fully well, well pretty fully art articulated. That's a pretty cool snow. snow. Oops. Pretty sweet. Came with <laughs> <That's a little laughs> and he does have he has like the um so his eyes kind of glow if you put him like up to a light. It's got the thing on the top of his head. Yeah. Like a lot of the old uh, 80s and 90s figures would do to give oh, so what line glow. is this one from? This is Masterverse. Okay. He's gonna get one. <laughs> no, I just that when you when you buy you've got nine different lines of he-man that you're buying and none of them match gets, or make any sense it gets fucking so, confusing yeah right. yeah but yes it is cool <laughs> yep uh, well actually it's not massive it's new eternia okay so yeah there you go 
That's all. That's all I have. This is the coolest snout I've ever seen on a snout spout, though. He might be. He might be my favorite snout spout. Have they done have they done snout spout in the big giant Mondo version yet? No, because I'd put that in my office. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's he's such a ridiculous character, but like then they do cool stuff for him, and you're like, oh shit. I think he's cool. I've always thought, I mean, I don't think he's that ridiculous. I mean, he's pretty ridiculous. I mean, all firemen are kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it's true. Oh. <laughs> Oops. He's dropping shit all over here. So that that's all I've done brought, fellas. Well, good. You got some toys on the show. Finally, I can put them on my boxes that sit next to my shelves. So I'll get new figures and I won't put them up because I'll just put them in a box ready for this show to show them off. And that's about a month and a half, two months of figures coming in. Okay. Well, All right. Well, that's about it. That's it. That's a show, huh? That's a show. Uh, I oh, that's cool. What the fuck? Yeah, Street Fighter Two figures. Jeremy missed this, dude. Oh well, I'm only one guy. Those are pretty cool. I'm only one man. I'm only one man. Street Fighter pre-orders. Street Fighter. Street Fighters. Oh, I like that figure. Oh, those look really good. What's his name? That's uh, M Bison. Well, it depends on what country you live in, but he's M Bison in America. I think he's Vega in Japan. Is he? Mm -hmm. Who's Vega? Or no, you know what? Uh, so oh, okay, Vega, Vega is a no, he's Vega in Japan. Um, Balrog, the the boxer, is actually M Bison, like Mike Tyson, M Bison. Uh, um, but yeah. Oh wow, is he actually like? That's common. Is he stretchy? Dalsim. Yeah. That looks tiger. Cool. <laughs> he doesn't do that. He doesn't do tiger. He doesn't. No, that's uh, the other guy. Who? But uh, I can picture him. The guy with the eye patch. The the the. the... Oh, you're right. Uh. Yeah. Uh, that guy. I don't think it's shit. That's Dalsim. He does fire. Fire. Yoga fire. Yoga fire. Yoga yep, flame. Yep, yep. Yoga, Yoga flame. flame. Yeah. Tiger uppercut is uh, Sagat or Sagat. 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 Yes. Yes. Bob Saget. Tiger, 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 Uppercut, Uppercut. Tiger, Uppercut. I love that game. It's so good. It was like, it was fantastic. When it, well, Street Fighter 2 when it first came out. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that's all uh, we got, I think, right? Is yep. that it, fellas? Yep. All right. Wrapping up episode 312. 12. Otherwise, it's going to kill me podcast. Sans Travis, uh, who's out of the Indianapolis, Indianapolis and Comic Con, uh, doing his thing. And um, yeah, not so, sure where the show is going to go in the coming weeks. I will be headed to spring break. Uh, so there's, yeah. I'll be around. Uh, but then we're, within a couple weeks, we're heading into Kane County and Tulip City. Yep. We got so, things going on. So yeah. we will see. I got a, uh, I got a daughter graduating this year, so we got to organize some of that stuff. So it'll be a pretty busy spring. See you in a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thanks to Cody, of course, for being here today for the YouTube live. Thank you to all the super chats. And by that, I mean, Curtis, I guess. Um, and there were some other ones, but thank you all. We appreciate you. Uh, thanks for participating in the top 10. Uh, thank you to Steve for being a dum dumb and uh, giving us some content. Uh, congratulations to Lord Stephen, the Alpha, uh, for beating diabetes. Um, Wolford Brimley is proud of you. Yeah. Um, diabetes. Yeah. Diabetes. So, uh, and uh, you gotta, you gotta. Hey, Jeremy. Diabetes. You gotta, gotta respect the crop top in 2024. <laughs> 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 Him and Stephen Gambit. Stephen Gambit and guys in wear, Pride, Gambit and Pride parades. Sometimes wear so, crop tops nowadays, but I never did in 97. So for Stephen Machati, Jeremy DeWitt, I am P. McCarthy. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the toy aisle. <laughs>